Welcome back to this episode of Naruto DND. As always, I am your host with us. Uh, my name's Connor, by the way. With us, we have Mike as Takashi. What's up? Travis as Silas. Not last. And <laughs> Nick as Richard. <laughs> Richard's on a new mic. Sounds a little bit different. So yeah, if you don't recognize the voice, that's why. But we're going to hop like into it because we're missing two people, one of which, uh, you know, is acceptable reasons, the other of which is ignoring me. I'm definitely not throwing them under the bus or anything. The walls have ears. Quick recap. The team defended the wall from Awari, who never actually came. The feudal lord came by and alerted the Hokage that Awari's plan is to end ninja as a whole, and that the other feudal lords are going to discuss this. The team then went on uh, on a mission to stop a rogue transmission and discovered an underground facility that was set up by Awari. They uh, cleared the area and found only one survivor, as well as some evidence incriminating Koyote of working with Awari. The team then returned to the village and shared their evidence with the Hokage. It wasn't just evidence. It was a lot of evidence. <clears throat> and Silas secretly shared his note without <laughs> telling his team. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to find out what happens next year now. So I'd say Lane and Takashi, but Lane's not here, but she's still going to be a call. So both of you are called to the Ambu headquarters. Yeah. And I'm going to speak, be speaking to just you, since you're the only one here. <laughs> you arrive and see a very large number of other Ambu in the building. You see Masayoshi is standing at the center, well, not the center of the room, standing at, like, the center of the opposite wall of the room. And he begins to speak. Attention, Ambu forces. Coyote has been found guilty of conspiring and informing Awari of matters regarding our village. As a result, he's going to be held here for 24 hours and then transferred to our new maximum security prison site. Because of this, you are all now under the direct authority of the Hokage. Lastly, we're going to remove the curse seals on your tongues. I'm sorry that they were placed in the first place. We weren't aware of them until just recently. We'll begin casting the counter jutsu on you all one by one. And one by one, they start going through each and every one of you, allowing you to speak freely once again. And then one by one, all of you all die. <laughs> <laughs> Once it's all done, Masayoshi continues. As of this moment, the Ambu headquarters will be strictly off limits to everyone except for the uh, except for the Hokage's Ambu guard. Dismissed. Oh, all right. Say goodbye, Mike. <laughs> <coughs> well, I'm breaking in. <coughs> There's more to this story than they have to let on. So y'all have some time around the village if you'd like. And then, and then Takashi pulled a us, a, a, a Silas, and released him. <laughs> 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 Pulls out a summoning scroll. Uh, before anything else happens, though, all of you roll a one d one hundred. Yay! Mm, I smell the one. I don't know who it is. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's, let's hope that that's the case because if uh, someone doesn't roll a one, nothing's happening. Sixty nine. Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, man. 60. Uh, Richard, you gonna roll? Yeah, the danger of the one's gone. <laughs> <laughs> so Richard rolled a 96, almost as far away as you could be. GG. So, all right, y'all have some free time in the village if you want to do anything specific. Is that going to come up, like, in play in a little while, or is it just, like, nothing happened now? I didn't... Like, the number we just rolled? Oh, that's not going to come and play this one. Only if you rolled a 1 would it come oh. into play. Oh, okay. I really don't have... I gotta tell you, I'm gonna be boring here. I really don't have anything to do. That's fine. Um, that's I'm just giving you free time in case something like this talk she wants to pursue... Uh, information on Coyote or anything like that. Otherwise, I've got the mission prepped. <laughs> what if you want to train, though? Uh, you can train if you'd like. Like, uh, through, through training, I'm guessing it would be like... I actually don't know. It would be like 
in afternoon sometime. Well, we're, we're not going to worry about that. We're not going to worry about the actual time constraint right now. Uh, it, okay, we'll say it's three o'clock actually. Yeah, right. so we're going to try to do something at night. I wasn't going to like sneak around in the daytime. So if if there's if we're going to actually have a mission, then I'm just going to like opt out on what I'm trying to do right now. <laughs> no, no, let's see what you're trying to do. I'm going to try and break into Koyotsu's office. Okay. But I'm not going to do it unless it's nighttime. Now. Okay, so you're waiting until nighttime. Yeah. Okay. So. <clears throat> but then I'm just going to be making some more scrolls, elemental scrolls. Okay. So it's nighttime. Cool, cool. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'll put on my uh, fancy gear that I put on at night. The hide my okay. face. Okay. And let me get that hide check ready. And you silent. Okay, so that was your, uh, what was it? Move silent, and then hide. Hide first, and then move silent. <clears throat> okay. And so I approach, I'm going to stop, like, right in front of the, uh, the headquarters. Let's do, like, some spot check. And you see that there are two guards in a white uh, ombu outfit standing out front. With masks and everything. <clears throat> Hooded. It's gonna be a tough one, man. <laughs> Silas walks up and just like slams their heads together. <laughs> <laughs> and that was how Silas was called a terrorist in the village. Takashi, let's Jeez. go. <laughs> All right. Hey, you actually doing that? No, I'm not gonna be a terrorist. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the Hokage guard right there. Let me see if I remember correctly that there was uh fuzz. That secret edge just probably didn't lead nowhere. <clears throat> oh no, that's what I forgot to F and do. You know what? Um take back what I said. I'm going F and Rick's house. I almost forgot about that. You say yeah, you're not going to be on Yeah. Okay, you go to Rick's house. Alright, so I'm gonna go like to that area. Where uh, where that hidden hideout was? You're right next to his house. Yeah, like I'm gonna go up to the place where the uh, little, like downstairs, whatever was outside. Yes. <laughs> What's down there, Mike? And I'm gonna. Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. Remember that he did something. That opened yeah, I remember it up. him. I remember him using some hand signs. So I'm going to uh, sense chakra, see if there's like a seal or something somewhere. Uh, you don't sense a seal. And then I am going to use underground displacement to go through. Okay. And you go through the ground. You're going to cover up your hole. Do you have it mastered to do that, or are you going to leave it? Well, I I had mastery five back when like we were doing mastery and like we didn't have to care about it. So technically yes, but if we're like restarting, like after you made the rules saying for mastery, then no. Well I never said mastery was automatically maxed. I said you got a certain level of mastery into certain things. Well this is when I first created the character. And I was like, hey, I you know, I probably would have had these techniques mastered by this point. Okay, I'm okay with that one being mastered. <clears throat> All right. So then, uh, no, no tunnels then. <clears throat> okay. And you pop on through to the other side, and you see a very small, kind of like office-looking uh, room. As a manila folder on a desk. Yeah, it's the one I'm looking for. Great, he's gonna think that I'm the one that did it because I was the one that was talking to <laughs> the other day. <laughs> that would be five. <laughs> it's just what I need is his red eyes coming out and start throwing shit, shit at me. Rip. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna open this up and look and see what's in here. All right, and you open it up and you see 
profiles. I bet it's Lane's profile. The first one you see is Lane. The second one you see is Takashi. second one you see is Takashi. All right. third one you see is Silas. What? Yeah. fourth one you see is Richard. No, here. Right. The fifth one you see is Richard. All right. Just five in here. And you also see a uh, detailed analysis on, on a document called the 5G Initiative. Oh, okay. All right. So uh, anything else in here? Um, no, nothing else. All right. Now I'm going to try and capture the document using that craft calligraphy. Okay. Roll check. Atta boy. That's awesome. We don't ever use those things. Is that NRA? Right? <laughs> At least it's probably one When would you use a streetwise check? Whoa, what's that background noise I'm hearing? Um, that'd be a knowledge check, which I've gone around most knowledge checks to just be blanket knowledge checks, not like the whole oh, okay. streetwise yeah. here, with few exceptions. Uh, so you've done a decent job of copying it over. Uh, I'm gonna use a speed day on that one. Okay. Uh, I can't. I can't let that rule. I need. Okay. I need like a perfect. There we go. That's better. Okay. So you are <laughs> able to copy it down every little detail. Yeah. He's a spirit down that one. That's not good enough. Uh, I think this is pretty important. <laughs> Any, I, I'll need to go over this later. All right. So it's five G initiative. All our profiles and the detailed analysis of. Uh, is that a detailed analysis of what? Of the five G initiative. Of the, okay. GG. <clears throat> All right. I'm also just gonna look around and see what else is in here. But I know it's not the only thing he's got. Here. He's hiding something. Uh, you look around and you see most of the stuff is just pretty standard, like a storage room kind of a thing. Okay. You can roll a spot <laughs> check if you'd like, or a search check rather. All right, search check it is. That's nice lower rip. <laughs> rip. The only other thing you see is you see that there is a uh, you see that there's a photo like a framed photo, but the frame has been cracked, like the grass is the grass glass has been cracked open. And you see, it's a photo of Yuri. <clears throat> this guy was really torn up about it. Well, I'm gonna neatly put that back where it was, the uh, middle of the folder, and instead of going out the way I came, like a fool. I am going to uh, go as far out as possible as I can near the street. <clears throat> okay. Away from his house. How would so you know? around like um, Better do or do a sense, di sense direction check or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Navigation. Navigate check. I'm okay with this, uh, yeah. Uh, Let's see if you actually, get a critical one. Yeah, you know what? Instead... You come I'm right up inside Rick. You come right up inside his house. <laughs> I'll go with what is. Rip. And instead of me doing that, what I'm gonna do is create a clone, have him transform into a mole. He's gonna come out on the top and walk towards the road. And then I am going to use him as my guide. Oh, so the mole's gonna talk to you? Well, I didn't need to talk to you. <laughs> GG. Okay. All right, so then I'm gonna get out of the room. <laughs> I'm right, roll that navigation check. Rip. I'm just gonna go towards my clone though. No, but the clone has to roll the navigation check. Oh, he's just going up to the surface. Just straight, like, straight up. up. Yeah. Okay, not to the road. Right. He's going straight up to the surface, and then he's gonna walk to the road. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was trying. I was trying to make that as <laughs> as much possible where I don't have to roll that navigation check. <laughs> Dang it, that was All good. Right. <laughs> so it pops, <laughs> pops out of the grass and then kicks it. No, Rip. compromise. <laughs> and it goes over to the road. Starts twitching its nose. Yeah, it's time. <clears throat> then I follow up by going underground. Towards uh, towards the mole, aka my clone. And you poke your head up right next to the mole. 
All right. Now we're going home. Hey, just <laughs> just for shits and giggles, can you roll that navigation check? Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. <laughs> I guarantee you this is going to be a freaking critical one. Uh, Rip. Close it enough. It would have been a fail. <laughs> would have been fine. I'm going to... I'm gonna go to to my teammates' house this time. I've I've got enough intel, I guess, right now, to share among the uh, share among comrades. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go to whoever's closest to teammates. You mean Coyote? Rip. Uh, your house is closest. <laughs> Want to go uh, tell yourself? Yeah, I'll tell myself <laughs> first, and then I'll go okay. to. <laughs> and, then you got Richard. Uh, yeah, I'm going to to Dick's house next. What? I'm going to your house. Stay here and knock on your door, Richard. I oh, know I'm gonna do this even better. Is your house made of wood? Yeah. All right, sweet. I might drop in through the roof then. <laughs> Don't you dare! I will kill you. <laughs> He's already said it, so he drops in through the roof. All right, without looking, I'm going to use the mist, <laughs> fucking, the hidden mist technique. GG. And the counter there. Ah, this is going to take forever. I thought we were just going to do it, like, get straight to the whatever, but that's fine. It's it ironic. Take... The episode that just fucking I uh, just exported is the goddamn fight between fucking Shiro and Hajime yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the that. mist. <laughs> It's the first episode where I put a timestamp to skip ahead if you don't want to watch the fight. I just want to skip this. <laughs> you literally said, you, you went in there and you said, this is incredibly boring. I understand if you want to skip it. Here's a button. <laughs> <laughs> so, is everywhere. It's me, uh, it's me, Richard. Oh, no, oh. my name is Richard. <laughs> GG. It's me, Takashi. Oh, what's up, Takashi? Oh, uh, not much. I uh, just get some get some info for you. Figured I'd pass it along. Yeah, but why <laughs> you drop in on me like that? Oh, I thought it was cool. <laughs> Be that as it may. All right. So, what kind of info you have? I'm not gonna. I was gonna say I make happy of this. I'm just gonna read it. Uh, I've got some information that uh, I've got from Rick that he took from Anbu headquarters. He's <clears throat> got uh, some information on all of us, in particular, in the uh, whatever the five G initiative. I haven't read fully through it yet, but. Figured I'd let you know at least at least oh, more cool. information. And then Connor through. reads through it right now. <laughs> all right. Well, what are you showing him? The uh, all the documents, including the five G initiative. Like everybody's or just, it, just so you're going through everyone's profile. Yeah. <clears throat> GG. Uh, well, let's go through the five G initiative first. Everything that uh, Masayoshi told you about it in the previous session, it's all accurate. So it uh, holds all the information that he explained to you all. Explain planes to, sit to once they know how to actually communicate with where they believe the gods are, to send you out um, and follow through with it. Um, and there's no real information beyond what has already been said. Yeah. <clears throat> so I must make case. I have to tell uh, three other people, two of which are probably not going to exist in this at all. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Okay, and then you guys start going through the profiles, right? I mean, it's just like metagame knowledge, anyway, right? Pretty much. Yeah. It's all information that you'd all metagame already know about each other. Yeah. So yeah, just throw that out there. Blah blah. blah. Nothing, <clears throat> nothing at all special. Uh, no. 
not in this document. Okay. Yeah. You can see pretty much like it reads like eligi uh, eligibility profile. It's not like a, a full background profile. Oh, okay. <laughs> GG. I knew it, so they never even considered us to be Jonin. Alright. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you, Richard. And I'm gonna jump back uh, through the roof and get the trash out of there. Okay. I'm gonna go to Silas's place. <laughs> and you go to Silas's place and you share the information with him as well. I'm gonna slip a, a letter under the. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> not again. You smell tea. Rip. How do you come into my house, Takashi? Choose your next words wisely. <laughs> <laughs> I've already broken your house once, so I'm not going to do that to you. I gave, I gave my word that I would never do that. <laughs> so you knock on the door. <laughs> knock on the door. Tell you the info. Since I guess oh, no, I, I, got, I got a good thing to say, before, and then you can tell me the info. Okay. You knock, okay. You knock on my door? Yeah, knock on your door. I open the door. Oh, Takashi, you got another bone to pick with me? <laughs> <laughs> Guess it. Uh, see no, Takashi's no. bark is worse than his bite. Oh! All right, that's it. I'm leaving. That's it. <laughs> yeah, we're dead. Takashi no wins the poker oh. right then and there. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't been a stack one today. <laughs> anyway, so you tell me about the stuff. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Five G initiative. Stuff's up. All right. So so that is all, a, it all pans out. It's all accurate. Okay. Yeah. I, was, it was, I was expecting a little bit more. I was expecting some shocking info in that envelope. But yeah, this is awesome. This is so. This is what Rook took from the Ombu? Yeah. Why is he concerned about us? That's a good question. That's and what does he have thing. planned for us? <clears throat> Maybe it's not just him. No telling. Uh, you saw his face. You saw We've his been eyes. bamboozled. Rooks, that's the informant, not Coyote. Ooh. Probably both. Plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> and then he told us the answer right there, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, there it is. Yep. Anyway. All right, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> They're not flying to this guy. Everything. I definitely haven't tried to lead you off of a fake trail. Lead you onto a fake trail. That's what he wants you to believe. That's the question, isn't it? Where am I pushing you to go? Is some of the false information meant to push you elsewhere? Is it meant to reaffirm your own path? <laughs> ah, GG. So y'all go to bed. The fun parts. <laughs> oh, um, Richard. Roll a roll a listen check. No. <laughs> hey Richard, roll a listen check. For old time's sake. Mm -hmm. Hey Richard, roll a listen check. Richard? I'm doing it. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's just mad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you hear a knock at your door. All right, I will answer it. All right, you open the door and see Ken. Why? And Ken looks <laughs> at you. He goes, uh, Richard, mind if I come in? No, thanks. <laughs> hey, yeah, least, why not? Come hey, at least he's asking this time, you know what I mean? <laughs> he steps on in. He goes, sorry to do this in the middle of the night. Um... There's something I just need to make sure that you're aware of. Uh, it's possible that Lane might be in danger. Oh yeah? How so? After what happened between her and Rook uh, with, at the ambush site, it's uh, it, Rook didn't take it too well. He hasn't been home today, and he's been very different lately. I know some of your team is already aware of this, but you're someone who doesn't have any relationship with Rook already that I'm aware of. And I, 
if something does happen, I just want you to be ready to do what you need to do. Uh, so you want me to run away? Do what it is that you need to do. And if that means you have to take down Rook, then so be it. If it means you have to take down Lane, so be it. But just be ready for it when it comes. All right, thank you very much. Uh, I'll, watch, I'll, I'll watch my back. And he steps out. Whose side will we pick? Bum, 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 bum. GG. And uh, anyone else doing anything for the night? I'm going to try and pass some more checkers through that crystal. All right. <clears throat> Roll a uh, concentration check. Although I guess that's not concentration. Too late. Actually, it's not rolling. No, there it is. <laughs> What's your uh, chakra control? Full thing or just a rank? The what's the what would the plus be? Twenty-three. Okay. Yeah, we'll just continue saying that that's the same thing. Um. The concentration's fifteen. It's, it's like. So you channel <laughs> some chakra into it, and you see a vision. <laughs> you yeah, see no jail point. cell. That ain't good. And you see, inside the jail cell is Coyote. Shackled, bound, gagged. Very thoroughly locked up. Hey, what's your, what's your safe word, Coyote? GG. <laughs> safe word. You see, so it's like the vision is scanning backwards a little bit. And then as you, you know, you're getting farther away. And you see as it gets in, is getting a little bit further out, you see one of the uh, Ombu in their white outfits. One of the uh, uh, Hokage guard Ombu. You see he's uh, standing there, just watching Coyote. And then you see a hand appear from behind the Ombu, being placed on his shoulder. And then you see the man get shocked with lightning and collapse. And the vision ends. So, that's the vision that you saw, Takashi. They're torturing him. No, no, he's having getting out. That's what he deserves. <laughs> yeah, the hand wasn't on Coyote. The hand was on the Ombu. Oh. Dude, he's getting oh. broken out of there. <laughs> is that, like, current or is that future? That's actually what I was actually going to go check right now. <laughs> 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 I was like, is this definitely happening right now? I'm going to go check it out. All right. So you run back to the Ombu headquarters and you see the two guards still standing there. Hmm. And then he realized it was him that broke Koyate out. Rip. Bum, 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 oh, we can lightning release on the spot. I'm a radio in to anyone who's listening. Come in. Silas always has his radio on. What? Anyone? Is anyone there? No. Yeah, what's up? <clears throat> what time is it? What time is it? Like I'm going to say 11 at night. Man, we could have a big mission tomorrow. What are you waking us up for? <laughs> <laughs> I was already awake thanks to freaking Ken. Actually, never mind. Ken came by? He never can see me. <laughs> hey guys, come in. Actually, never mind. I don't need you. This is a prank. No, 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 no. What's up? I think you, uh, I think you never messaged me at night. What's going on? Something's got to be wrong. Well, uh, for certain reasons that I cannot explain to you, that I will explain to you later, uh, I think Awari may be coming. It is not. Did you put a chakra tonight. in that stone? I didn't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> you think oh okay well that's kind of vague why would you just know that well have you been, i mean do you have like an informant that you're not telling everybody about or not he not quite informant. an informant i'll, I'll explain later but, uh, <laughs> silas. 
I'll explain tomorrow. Like Citizens that. are raised. Citizens are raised. <laughs> look, look, no. If you have some sort of information, we need to tell. We need to tell um, Masayoshi, or we need to tell Naruto. This needs to be known about. We'll be honest with you. I don't trust Masayoshi. Something off about him. I don't know if. if <clears throat> um, can you say it again? You hear in the background. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Takashi does not trust Masayoshi. There's something <laughs> wrong about him. Okay. You realize that's my hero, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm looking. I'm looking like down at him, but really, I look up to him. GG. I only plan on staking out for for the night. If it doesn't happen tonight, then I'll tell them tomorrow. You're going to stay up all night? Not all night. Not only to a certain point. Just to a certain point where it won't matter. And then when I go to sleep, it's going to happen. Well, you can go to sleep. I'll tell you later, unless I'm dead. We need... <laughs> again, again, I still feel like you should tell someone about this. Don't put it all on yourself. Let someone know your suspicions and your worries, and then we'll leave it at that. Well, I'm telling you, I trust you more than Masayoshi. You know I'm hearing this too, right? You didn't respond. I didn't even know you were effing here. I did, <laughs> Richard, yeah, you did. here? Rip. Hey, buddy. We, uh... Hey, how's it? Uh... <laughs> well, I legitimately didn't know you said it. He responded. He said that. Hey, hey, hey! The most important person on our team. How are you doing? You no, know, you know, I, I see how it is. I'm just gonna <laughs> fuck you guys. Or <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know you were in here. That's exactly what I'd hope you'd say. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd take that. <laughs> GG. Oh, that's awesome. But uh, as I, I, I trust you guys more than I would Masayoshi. Okay, how much do we trust Ken? I feel like Ken is on our side, no matter what. Well, if you trust him, I guess uh, I guess I'll roll the dice. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> go inform Ken. Uh, Ken. Um, He's at Rook's house. And I don't know if I trust Rook right now. <laughs> Damn it. Is there anyone we can trust? <laughs> okay. We'll go with your plan. Just take it out, and uh, I'll have the radio on. Hmm. Does that sound good to you, Richard? Richard? Oh, I turned off my mic. Richard. Rip. No. I, I turned off my headset, fam. Calm the rock. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> I know that I was being in character. Richard? No. <laughs> no. He, he, he needs to know this information. <laughs> GG. Bum, 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 bum. GG. <laughs> So y'all go and you start staking out the place. Well, I am. No, I'm. I'm at home. All right. So you are Takashi. Yeah. Where are you staking it out from? Are there any nearby trees? Uh, no, not around that area. Are there any nearby wooden buildings? Uh, no. Everything in that area is stone. I'm pretty. I'm, I'm pretty sure that you, that Connor covered that the other day. <laughs> He did. I, I just wanted to see. Have you changed his mind? This one. Hey, I got you, son. Do any of these buildings or homes have a porch on it that is made of wood? <laughs> no. <laughs> or any chairs on it that are made of wood? No. Oh wow! Damn. I mean, I have wooden chairs. This is a busy sit. This is. I mean, this is right outside of the Hokage Mansion. This isn't like standard living area. <laughs> All right, YOLO. I'm gonna stand around the corner of a building and use method of false invisibility. All right, roll that hijack. Uh oh, 
hopefully the tide checks as good as the last time. I'm gonna go and use my uh, uh, spirit die here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just using my action points like crazy. Because I and there's the oh, I didn't need to do all the moves that way. Tide check. Rip. <clears throat> That's my check, the 18 now. Move silently to get to that to that point. Yeah, I guess that's true. <clears throat> All right, so that, which one was your high check? The 18. Okay. They're also using method of false invisibility. Yep, and they are on guard, meaning that they take a minus four to their spot checks. All right. <clears throat> All the cards are in place. Almost. And so you're chilling there, waiting, until eventually one of them turns to you. You can see, like, one of their masks just changed and they're looking at you directly. No. <laughs> Good to do anything? <laughs> it's just oh, no. Keep looking. No, he's not even making any action. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you see he disappears oh now I get about one round to respond right yeah <laughs> uh, let's see I'm gonna drop him to the ground with underground displacement <laughs> okay it's too late you can't hold me a knife one if I'm underground <laughs> When your head gets to the point where it's about to go under, the ground hardens and you're stuck. Ooh, <laughs> uh, Mike's secretly going, Travis, stop giving Connor ideas. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a technique that I've got. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, so I'm scanning through real quick. Holy crap, tomorrow is Friday the 13th. What was it? Mm -hmm. Bum, bum, ba da da. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Connor keeps doing that like this whole episode. I have a bad feeling that that's going to come into play later. Are <laughs> oh, you all down for like a so, Halloween special? Oh, never mind. I'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that after this here. So, uh, you're in the ground. Are you changing your location where you were? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm start moving away back towards. Uh, the direction of my house. Okay. And how far away can you move? Uh, movement. So 30 feet or 60 feet for full movement. But one of the actions would have had to be to cast the jutsu. Right. So 30 feet. So you can tell that someone has landed right where you are. You see that they've placed their hand on the ground. Yeah, you can tell you can kind of just <laughs> tell this is happening. And immediately you feel the ground around you beginning to crack. And it explodes. <clears throat> you see Masayoshi staying there. And because of your context, I'm going to say you're denied the reflex save. Oh, what? <laughs> I hear a scream like a little girl over the intercom. <laughs> Lame. Lame. And you take 13 points of damage. Ouchie. <clears throat> Which, uh, just keep a mental note of that since you don't have a character token, but I ideally this thing. won't be any more damage than that. That's up to you, though. <laughs> so, you see that you have now been revealed and the Ambu is looking at you directly. And he speaks. What are you doing here watching me? It's me. It's Takashi. I don't know a Takashi. What? Oh. Aren't you Ambu? I'm one of the Hok I'm one of the Hokage <laughs> Hokage Zombu <laughs> Guard. <clears throat> Different faction from the typical Ambu. Ah, but surely you've heard of me with my uh, with my reputation. Roll, Roll reputation check. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I haven't heard of you. I didn't think uh, so. <laughs> that's that's cool though. I mean, if he hasn't heard of me, then. You know, people on the street can't ever to me, right? Not necessarily. <laughs> well, I, uh, I am also now one of the members of the Hokage's uh, 
Tokag is control. So, I'm Takashi. It's nice to meet you. Roll off, Jack. You're Silas's friend. <laughs> roll bluff check, Takashi. The, roll a hard, hard bluff check. There's that. There's that reputation bonus from Silas. GG. Oh, you're Silas's friend. Damn. <laughs> Plus seven. <laughs> <laughs> It looks at you guys, you really think that that's going to work on me? Uh, probably not. All right, I'll come out. So come out. Takashi, Takashi steps out the closet. He looks at you goes, now why are you here? I will not ask you again. I'm just here. This word on the street is a warrior's going to attack. What do you mean, word on the street? Well, I can't really explain it, explain it to you in a way that you'd understand, but I've got some pretty solid information that he may attack to free Coyote. And who have you reported this information to? Silas. The only person that knows about this <laughs> is, uh, is one of my teammates. The plan oh, to tell Masayoshi. Don't is, I guess Richard's just chopped liver right now. <laughs> well, I'm doing this intentionally. I, ah. I don't want to... <laughs> so roll another bluff check. Is that 11? <clears throat> this one's not as blatant of a lie, so it's going to be easier for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, is every, something seems a little bit fishy about this. Why would you not tell anyone else before you come here to spy on Ambu? Well, hypothetical. If uh, if someone was to come and kill the Hokage, only you knew, you knew about it. And over the past five months, your entire squadron was compromised with betrayal, one after another. Would you tell someone? Or would Roll you wait until you check. confirmed it? Roll diplomacy check. Right. <laughs> so he pauses and he goes, there's something that you're not telling me. You can either come with me willingly or I will take you by force. All right, all right. Just calm down. Hey, what's that over there? <laughs> <laughs> all right, just give me a chance to explain myself. The rest of this isn't necessary. I need to, to keep as inconspicuous as possible. So he makes, well you see, see he rapidly makes a couple of hand signs that you recognize because you also know this technique. Even though I don't, I realize I might not have actually given you this technique, you're familiar with this technique. Right. Uh, give me a second, my camera, or my fucking chrome froze. Anyway, you recognize he's using body binding technique on you. Oh, GG. So you need to make a will save. Alright, I can do that. <laughs> Can I use a counter take me afterwards? Uh, yeah, if you want to. G. That's your will. Your will's 23. 23, dude. GG. All right, you pass. GG. All right, and I'm going to use the same technique, but I'm going to use my eye. Okay. I can't do anything else with that. And hope he succeeds. <laughs> It says it's a save of, I think, 17. Yeah. I did not do the right roll. Oh, I'll just see. I'm getting the trash out of here. <laughs> Why did I roll that? I rolled a 1d20 plus 3, which is in no way, shape, or form close to what this guy's will save was. Ah, uh, you see that he passes his save as well, and he's not paralyzed. Yeah. Yeah, just let me explain myself. Because I've tried <laughs> to let you do that, but so far you've been hiding information from me and lying to me. Like I've got a special artifact that allows me to see th <clears throat> see things that are that always happen, whether it be the new future or far. Run another diplomacy check. Gosh dang this effing. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> I just want to leave. 
Oh, spear die for that. Ain't no way. I'm <laughs> oh, sir. Everybody in deep poop right now. Do you have that with you? It wouldn't be something I would hand over, so we... That's not what I asked you. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I have it on me. I'm going to need that from you now. No way. This doesn't go to anyone. And as you see, the uh, one of his hands kind of adjusts. You're speaking. I have someone who's trying who's trying to get into the Ambu headquarters. Send back up my way. All right. With that note, <laughs> GG. Uh, I'm gonna use wood uh, four pillar prison. And I'm going to make a run for it. <clears throat> okay, so what are you using the pr uh, pillar prison on? To, like, make a wall? No, to trap him. Oh, to trap him? Yeah. Okay. Now you are an enemy of... <laughs> and as you go to do that, you see that through the prison, his body disappears. I see how this is going. <laughs> and he's using a technique of his that allows him to evade an attack. And see, he has appeared now on the opposite side of you. I see. This is, this, apparently, he's turning into full cabinet. <laughs> if you'd like, I can move to a map. <laughs> we may as well at this point. <laughs> and then we never got to the mission. <laughs> 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 and that diplomacy check was pretty good. I'm surprised he didn't just like chill. Before I go to a different map, you see that uh, two other Ambu in white cloaks land on the rooftop around you. Call us in. Call us in. <laughs> I thought you guys are free. He was like, get over here, man. <laughs> you haven't said a word. Uh, I need some backup, too. Uh. <laughs> on, the other, on the other side of here. Um, nothing said, um, but that doesn't mean nothing's happening. Okay. <laughs> I can only hope. How many turns would it take for me to get there from my house? I'm gonna say five. Ooh, You're survive running at five. max speed. you you better survive for five turns, son. I'm going to adjust the map. That's not the right map. So I was going to say, yeah, yeah quit. <laughs> this is an old map. Oh, this is for Buki. I'll put you up in the corner right now. So you see that, they, that those two are on rooftops around you. Well, this has become quite interesting. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no way I'm going to talk about this, am I? Yes, I look like reasonable guys. <clears throat> And the first guy talks, and he goes, "I've tried to let you talk your way out of this, but you've just tried to—you've just tried to evade your way and dodge my questions." Well, for good reason. I mean, come on. That's not good reason to me. <clears throat> All right. Well, if I explain myself now, will you give me an opportunity? If you listen. resign yourself and let us arrest you, this arrest doesn't me. have to end in a fight. Oh, it is. Silas runs through a building. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's bad enough you guys are already leaving your post. Come this on, building. guys. Yes, we already have other guards. This building. Look, I'm telling you, he may attack. You're making a mistake here. And I'm asking for your proof, and when I asked for it, you denied it. No, you're not there yet. I know, I'm just fucking around. <laughs> Here, I'm just going to center this a little bit more. There we go. Now, this is your last chance. I've talked enough as it is. Resign yourself, or we're going to take you down by force. They're about to do something really bad because they're like in a triangle shape, and triangles like never good. <laughs> <Fourth> <laughs> of... <laughs> Glad there's not a fourth, dude. 
<clears throat> Will you let me keep the crystal? No. If it's determined afterwards that the crystal has no value to us, then yes. But as what you're saying is that the crystal has value, no. Then I have no choice. They get like in a fighting stance, so they know I'm ready for action. <laughs> All right. I'm going to say he's bought you three turns, so you've got two turns that you're waiting on, Silas. <laughs> you right, well, you just, uh... I'm going to roll initiative for these guys. <laughs> <laughs> This is the shit I hate right here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Never mind. I don't even show up. I'm just going to stay at home. <laughs> You're just going to stay at home. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't leave my boy hanging. Rip. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> <laughs> Right, give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> the exemplar just showed up. Stand down. This is like three random characters. <laughs> oh my god. So you see all of them make the exact same hand sign. Devil's Barrier. There it is. Rip. Roll spot check. <clears throat> There's only three of them. Uh, surprise scenario or no? No. Uh, so you see that they have made a series of walls that are not all inclusive, but go ten feet of uh, ten feet wide ahead of each of them. So you see there are openings in it. Okay, so ten feet to like on the corners. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna use wood locking wall. Take that full barrier around myself. A full barrier around yourself? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How far around you? Just uh, around your square? Yep, just around my square. And what's the health on it? Uh, 50 plus 5 per character. Uh, so that's 110. So you're making a full dome with it as well? Yep. Okay. I might adjust that in the future, but right now, yeah, whatever. So it's got 110 health. Yeah, that's pretty great. Right. <laughs> so that's your entire turn, huh? That is my entire turn. Okay. <clears throat> Every single one of them is also going to once again in unison cast the jutsu. And I'm going to have them limit their range on it. Just for the sake of... Yeah. Ah, oh, that's the range, not the fucking cone. And they are all going to breathe fire in a triangle cone formation around your dome. <laughs> GG. They're not going to empower it.
So that's 124. <clears throat> 14 damage up. That's 12 hardness. Well, that's not track resistance, so yeah, it has to be uh, 14. <clears throat> Unless you just deleted your character. I'm doing bad. Ooh, yeah. All right, so now your turn. GG. <laughs> Bright side, you last one more round. Siles will be here. This is all true. <laughs> to to stop the fight. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Punch. Ah, shit. Rip. Sneak up behind that dude on the roof and take him hostage. Guns down. Rip. Like I'm gonna nuts. try the <laughs> the uh, the eye again, the flesh blinder. Okay, on which one? It's a thirty foot radius. So you're gonna target all of them? Well, it's not like a target. Is is any creature within thirty feet? Is the well, one? Well, you just said you're using your oh right, the eyes power. Yeah. Okay, so what do they have to roll? <laughs> Uh, DC 17. We'll save. We'll save, yeah. That's for the guy right ahead of you. For the guy up top. The guy below. Hey, I'll be right back. <laughs> that guy almost failed. Almost. And I guess I'll move... Uh, 15, 25, 30. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this guy is going to uh, actually gonna have to step around his barrier to get up to you. Now we're just gonna this guy's gonna jump over there, and we're just gonna <laughs> recenter everything. CG. However, this guy won't get an attack because he had to go around his own fire. These guys, however, in the same position they were, they will get an attack. What would be a good thing to not kill you? Because that's not entirely what their aim is. <laughs> Maybe they'll dry clean you. Hey, don't forget, guys, I've got this precious crystal. <laughs> That you don't know the properties of. Fire could be volatile. First guy's gonna use. No yeah, sympathy. He's just, just gonna use fireball. The crystal's weak against fire. Wait. <laughs> he, he's still going. Rip. And he's going to empower it. So you get a reflex save, Bright Side. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, wood locking wall. Okay. It's an instant. <clears throat> so what's the uh, perform? Or did you cover that? Don't try to don't didn't I explain it in that technique? You did, but I don't know if you like actually said, "Hey, you're doing this now." <laughs> I. Did I just don't remember what it is off the top of my head since this will be the first time actually using it? Yeah, okay. So the check against it, um, add five of attack rolls, jack control, genju two, minimum two, net twenty, minimum fifteen. Okay, so, so a check you need to roll that perform check. I meant to make an perform. announcement about this, but I forgot to make a note about that. So, like, you roll a perform, and then I roll a perform? Or... No, you roll a perform. Making a full dome? No, nah, half dome. Half dome, okay, just block the one attack. All right, and what's its health? The uh, same. Or, er, actually, I think it's the same. The Are you still alive? Still alive. <laughs> Turns almost over. Uh, so it's got 110 health. Yeah. However, it does still collapse immediately. 
after damage. Right. And the other guy's now going to do the same technique. CG. Gonna <laughs> do another defensive. No, I can't. I only have mastery one. <laughs> I don't have any mastery in it. Oh, yeah. Got to do anything else to try to face? Nope. There's nothing to substitute with. All right. Take <laughs> 34 points of damage. Tucker, she's going to die. <laughs> no, it turns over now. Just give him the <laughs> rock. Wait, you think I'm going to be able to save nice. you from dying? Son? <laughs> you got that much faith in Silas? <laughs> <laughs> So, Silas, you have now entered the fray. You have arrived at the area, and you see Takashi surrounded by three Ambu and white cloaks that you recognize as the Hokage Guard. So I'm going to I'm going to walk up. I'm not going to sneak. I'm not going to try to hide or conceal myself. I'm going to walk up to the edge of the barrier right here. No, They're no barrier. longer in the barrier. Oh, I'm going to walk up right here. Going to say anything? Or I just walk up? What's going sense. on here? They speak. Yeah, this person is aiding and abetting a criminal. There is no aid here. He was... Yeah. He is on my group. He, he is in my group. He is on my team. I am. I am the leader. Well, he, he hasn't been cooperating anymore. with us. For good reason. For good reason. We are the Hokage Guard. There's no one higher rank than us in this village other than the Jonin commander, the Hokage himself, and the current uh, hand, of the, uh, j hand of Justice, Masayoshi. It's hard to trust anyone right now with how everything's been going on. Do you realize that our master was uh, Master Awari? I did not know that, and I do not care. We have a job to do, and we will fulfill that job. Talk, this man here, Takashi said his name was, if he does not come with us willingly, we will take him by force. That was what we told him, and he chose force. It sounds like it's a bullying match, three against one. We're not <laughs> trying to be fair. This isn't about a fair fight. This is about taking down an alleged criminal. Alleged criminal? He was spying on us, and when I confronted him, he decided to lie to me, try and get, get, uh, try and get away from me, and avoid my questioning. Huh. Did he try to enter the building? No, but I asked him what he was doing. Okay. So when is it, when is it wrong for someone to stand in a street corner, or stand in a corner, or stand down an alleyway? When it's versus one of us, it is wrong. We have a did job to do. Did he attack you? No, he did not. I think he's free to go. No, he is not. <laughs> That's not how this works. And if you have a problem with that, then we'll arrest you too. You know who I am? I don't care who you are. <laughs> go ahead, arrest me. If you'll come willingly, then we'll have no problem. However, you are not who we're here for right now. Takashi. Yeah. Give it up. You want me to give away the one thing that we have that could possibly lead us to war? The only thing I know Why would you we say that, that though? Weird. Why would you say that, though? What? <laughs> Before I say what? Are you here? You're not even here, Richard. <laughs> now he's metagaming, just like he always does. <laughs> Takashi, it's not worth your life. There will be other times. And these, th these three, whatever they are, soon they won't even matter anymore. They could be dead. I can't save them. You can't. And this little grouping they're doing where they're trying to <laughs> gang up on one person just shows what kind of character they have just hand it over and let's get out of here no we're not gonna get out of here they want to arrest us now let them arrest us we've done nothing wrong 
when they arrest us and um awari comes and or and, Aw- and awari comes and releases coyote and they're not at their post i guess we'll see whose fault it is yeah last ditch effort i'm gonna pour some chakra into this crystal <laughs> the economy oh, yeah. come to save me all right let me see that crystal real quick oh i guess there is no crystal now <laughs> <laughs> Now you're going to come willingly. Yeah, nothing right. to hide. Takashi. Sure. Where Let's Takashi go. goes, I go. And one of them walks up to Takashi. See, so he places his hand, so he gestures for you to turn around. Do you cooperate? Okay. Yeah. He grabs your wrists, puts them together, and you feel metal binding them. If he's coming willingly, why do you need to bind him? In case he tries to escape. You guys. You're a ninja. <laughs> we have rules. We have our rules and our orders that we have to follow. We will not make exception. Bunch of you freaking puzzle guys, man. It's like, you got, uh, <laughs> kids. you got something big enough for me? And you see the man goes up, the other guy goes up to you. You see, he takes his hands, he places them on your wrists, and you see metals coming out of his hands and wrapping around it. All right, and you two are escorted, escorted to the Hokage's office. Sweet. I hope I'm going to receive medical attention. <laughs> My reputation roll earlier precedes me. <laughs> 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 Nah, it's like like it really matters. <laughs> GG. All right, let's just fucking put you all down there. So you are now in the Hokage's office. Let me get rid of fucking Kakashi. And you see Naruto. If that's who who he really is. <laughs> and so Masayoshi takes the lead. He goes, now, what has been happening? You want to hear their side and then our side? I just want someone to talk. I'll start with you. Takashi radioed me... Uh... a really weird thing for Takashi to radio you. Takashi, <laughs> Takashi radioed me uh, about, I'd say about 11 o'clock um, saying that he had some intel uh, that uh, or a vision of sorts that Awari was going to come and free um, Koyote. I asked him if we should um, report it, and he said, I don't know if it's going to happen now. I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know if it's even going to happen. I'm just going to go and um, ske- uh, what's the word? Actually? The, the the scout. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Um, stake out. Takashi said he was going to go do a stakeout and just kind of see what was going on. He wasn't impeding on anyone's, um, you know, guard. He wasn't messing with anybody. He was just watching. At which point, the man who uh, he was watching, he was, he was spying on me. When someone is spying on me, I make sure to see whether or not it was of nefarious intent. So I confronted him. He ran. I stopped him from running. Objection, I asked Your Honor. him. <laughs> you gotta speak up objection your honor Takashi were you spying on him and this gentleman in general or were you watching the whole building I just came merely to confirm <clears throat> this isn't a courthouse you can't use technicality on me 
He was watching me. He was watching the guard. So he was watching y'all and not the building. Okay. Okay. I don't care what he was watching. The building is our jurisdiction. It is what we are guarding. If he is eyeing the building, he is eyeing us. But he, I mean, didn't enter the building. He didn't attack you. He didn't even no, talk to but you. but I confronted him, and he refused to talk to me. This is not the police. We are not people who uphold the justice for every civilian. We are the ones who keep the big threats at bay. So Takish is a big threat. That's what I went to find out. At which anyway, point, he lied. Ahead. He said that he was a member of our guard. Now that is illegal within the Leaf Village. Beyond that, okay? he continued to try and talk his way under it. Takashi, you're not Kozukai. You can't do that. Hey, we are under the area of the Hokage now. You are under the jurisdiction of the Hokage. You are not his guard. As, well, as, as members of, as ninja of the Leaf Village, we do guard the Hokage. You are not charged with it, though. That is our job, and we were given an order by him. And we Fair follow enough. that through no matter what. Fair enough. Holy shit. <laughs> so Masayoshi goes, Takashi, did you resist these men? They did. Why? Well, <clears throat> I had good enough reason. What is I that feel reason? Like, uh, I feel like I couldn't give away, uh, get enough explanation. Just saying that hey, I had a vision that a warrior may come here isn't good enough for you. That actually would add more suspicion. Matt speaks up. He claims that a jewel gave him this vision. Can I see that jewel, Takashi? Says Masayoshi. You guys take it from me? <laughs> like, As we have not yet. Well, I'm kind of in handcuffs. And the man reaches into your, into your uh, items <laughs> and belongings. And he pulls it out, and he sets it on the table. And a hint, uh, tentacle porn uh, falls out on the table as well. <laughs> Rip. And Masayoshi takes it. He goes, now, how do you make this work, Takashi? No, just focus on it. Anything else? You just focus on it? To quote a great movie, you just put it on! <laughs> <laughs> you can try and focus your, uh, your chakra. You see, he begins to focus his chakra into it. And you see it begins to glow slightly. At which point you see Masayoshi kind of like, his body kind of twitches and he jumps backwards, dropping it. And it lands back on the table. And he immediately turns to one of the guards. He goes, all right, this is a reasonable suspicion as far as I'm concerned. Go and verify the coyote is still there. Double up the guard on him as well. And one of the men runs out. <clears throat> Silas uh, looks down at his wrist. <laughs> this is where the real mission starts. The man goes, he goes, well, had you just shown that to me in the first place, we really could have avoided all this mess. He has a point, Takashi. Yeah, but here we are. So Masayoshi then turns. He is Takashi, where did you get this? That's my strength check to break the, the wire on my wrist. <laughs> Roll strength check. That was it. It's not wire. Uh, you break out of it. Masayoshi looks at you. He goes, why did you do that, Silas? Oh, I didn't think we were still... Until we tell you to remove them. <laughs> you keep them on. I just picked the pieces up off the ground. <laughs> you, you see the Masayoshi just kind of glares at you for a moment. It's Takashi. Where did you get that from? I got this from my old home. In a past life. Roll bluff check. What? That's the truth. <laughs> I was Shiro. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> okay, Bro, so what do you mean dead. by that? I found it in the remains of uh, Shiro and Kozakai's house. Okay. Do you know where it came from? I don't think so. Do you have Unless any I guesses? Unless I scavenge my memory. I don't really remember when it surfaced either, to tell you the truth. I, <laughs> I, can't I remember. honestly don't remember either. <laughs> you know Kami gave it to Shiro. Ooh. Oh, what are you sitting on the gear? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I wouldn't know that, but yeah, he, he, yeah, you wouldn't know that. I got it from a strange old man. Or well, I guess Shiro got it from a strange old man. Like what, a merchant? I don't think he was a merchant. No. <laughs> Just an old man sitting in the room. What? What do you know? Why I gave it to you? Like metagame? You asking me? Because I, I ask <laughs> uh, Do you know why I gave it to you? No. It was. And... I think some. Hey, somebody was poking him or something, and then I think I gave him some food, maybe or water. You, you remember you gave a kind deed, and he gave you a gift. There's something kind for me, yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. Well, what was your... Do you know if he had an, any intention behind giving this to you? I don't. Really strange old man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what old man just sits in the road anyway? Perhaps one that wasn't really an old man. What if Perhaps. maybe that was a war and he's trying to lead you to something? I suppose that's possible, but that's really far back. But you found it yet again inside the village. Yeah, it did. <clears throat> but it told me of the attack. And at this moment, you see the um, one of the Ambu, the one who's next to you, the one who... Uh, initially attacked you, you see his body kind of stiffens up. And uh, you see, walks over to Masayoshi and he starts whispering into his ear. Ah, the radio. He is gone. You see Masayoshi clenches his fists. He goes, yes. Koyote is. Tell them to find the security camera footage. See what happened. The guard who was outside of his, uh, who was outside of his, uh, cell has been knocked out. <sighs> so the man who's next to Masayoshi now, he goes, had you not impeded with what we were doing, we might have been able to stop him. Oh, shit. Never... <laughs> Takashi's the one. Those visions are never wrong. It would have happened one way or another. Masayoshi uh, no. pauses, and then Naruto speaks up. Because he can remove their shackles. Yeah, he steps past Silas and removes yours, Takashi. Sweet. I just dropped the metal on the floor <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, as far as I can tell, Takashi didn't mean any harm. And if what he's saying is true about this then I think then we can assume that he has it for a reason. But if Masayoshi is right, and that is a Wari who is behind it, you need to take these visions with caution. <clears throat> Duly noted. Let me, let me ask you, when you have Shiro's memories, as we know by Ken, how many of those visions that you saw pertain strictly to a Wari? What wow. were all the visions that you've seen? Uh, let's see. Saw the vision of Awari taking the two bodies away. The kin clone away. Uh, um, there's a vision with Jibuki. So I didn't write this whole thing down. There's something with Shibuki in the waterfall. Um, 
Chabuki. Chabuki. GG. The vision with the uh, the uh, flags, the symbols of uh, Rip. <laughs> with all the nation's villages, um, and uh, the, with their headbands, with the uh, you know, with the cut in it for the real ninja. So you recognize uh, that that was probably the attack revolving around G. Remember when the village yeah. had its big attack? Yeah, because you mm. recognize those uh, torn banners from that uh, encounter. So it sounds like the more he the more he explains these things, it sounds more like it's anything that could be considered evil or could you know stuff like that. Masayoshi continues. He goes, "That's possible." However. All of those do also relate to Uwari. Shibuki hated Uwari more than anyone I've ever met. And you also remember, as you explained that story in greater detail, that he was talking about training his pupil, who was uh, dedicated to killing Uwari. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and Awari was the one who informed us about that attack that was going to happen on the village from those rogues. How do we know he didn't set it up? We don't. With everything the Wari is now, it's very possible he wasn't charged of it. So, these could just be acts of evil, or they could be related to a Wari. So you, and he hands, he goes up, picks up the gem again, and he hands it back to you. You need to be careful with this. With all due respect, I don't believe Iwari is has anything to do with the visions himself. For your sake, let's hope so. Are we free to go? I'd like to get some rest. <laughs> so at this point, you see that uh, the other uh, guy comes back in. And he's got a tape in his hands. And he goes up to the TV and he puts on the tape. That's a DVD. Fuck it. Are we allowed to watch this, Masayoshi? Yes, yes, you are. We're going to verify Takashi's story. No. And you see that it that a security camera footage pops on looking down the hallway. I actually think I might still have this map. Maybe I'll just fucking have a visual representation. Oh, cool. I'll take it. That's take a long time to fucking load the map there. I mean, might as well. We're never going to get the real mission anyway. <laughs> 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 this is the magic that happens when you go against the tides. Brings back memories, doesn't it, Takashi? And Richard? It sure does. You have no idea. Like, fucking Christ. <laughs> We're in your life. Oh, this is the area I summoned a warrior out of. <laughs> Good times. So, you see that the camera is coming from, uh, like right here, and you see that there's a coyote who is shackled heavily inside the cell, gagged, everything, pretty much unable to move an inch. You see that there's a man in a white cloak, just looking at him, just observing, and. Then all of a sudden, you see in a flash of yellow light, a warrior appears right behind him. And you see a warrior places his hand on the uh, Ambu's neck and shocks him. Uh, his shoulder, not his neck. Shocks him, and the Ambu collapses. Then you see a warrior steps over the man and looks through the bars. Tisk tisk, Koyote. You haven't been covering your tracks. I was hoping you would last longer as my informant. But you've done well. Let's get you out of there. Let's be honest, Koyote didn't cover his tracks <laughs> on purpose. And you see Koyote starts struggling in his shackles, shackles and yelling muffled noises. Awari then teleports inside of his cell. You see he draws his blue Baransu blade and cuts the shackles that are tying him to the wall. You see he grabs Koyote and then the two teleport out. Rip. 
So um, <laughs> when that happens, I look at the dude that said, if you know, if you wouldn't have impeded with our, uh, I look at him and I say, you really think you could have stopped that? Did I have you guys on the wrong map this entire time? It doesn't matter. Yes. <laughs> I meant to have you on this room when I was doing the whole talk. You had us on the wrong map, yes. Well, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> wrong map. <laughs> we just figured side, out the map. Bright side, audience got a great fucking view of it. <laughs> on the map, on the map. Kind forgot me on the map. See for it. Oh, GG. So you see the Naruto just kind of slams his hand against the table. Damn it. Uh, he goes, damn it. Masayoshi. Masayoshi goes, I know. I'll double our efforts to adjust the barrier to block space time. I'll get to it immediately. And he storms out. Naruto just sighs and he goes, next time, make sure you inform us of something like this. Yes. Um, just, just, uh, you know, just a question. You don't happen to have like a super secret, um, like frequency we could just like holler at you at if that way we if we're like in a hurry we could let you know we'll gather information check <laughs> this might be something you really kill a spirit die for <laughs> naruto says no and ha uh, gives you a cell phone number <laughs> today's the day we come super spy guys Oh, ho, ho. Mm. all right. So he goes, there isn't a number that will contact me directly. However, or there isn't a frequency that will contact me directly. However, there is a frequency where you can contact my guard at who are always nearby me. Yes, thank you. He tells you what the frequency is. Because if you need it and only then. It's only for emergencies. We won't bother you unless needed. Okay. Now, you all go get some sleep. You'll have a mission tomorrow. Oh. You know, if I was Kozakai, I would immediately get on this frequency and say banana. <laughs> Believe it. That's weird. Kozakai would have died a second time. <laughs> Takashi. You got some, uh, you got some healing to do. I want to go see uh, Hira. Yeah, I'll see him in the morning. Me? I, I feel fine. I'm. I'm. Nothing's wrong with me. I'm gonna go sleep. Uh, eat some rest, Shadai. <laughs> so as you <laughs> as you two are stepping out, Naruto stops you um, with one last thing. He is now before you go. You should keep this in mind moving forward. It's possible that you'll encounter Koyote on your journey. If you ever do. You need to be careful of him. I made him the head of the Ambu for a reason. If you ever have to fight him, no matter what the circumstance, make sure you do not fight him in the dark. Oh. And then y'all go and get some get some shed eye. I gotta say, I did not think, think that things would take this long to uh, to get to this point. <laughs> Although I made, I made an yeah. interesting turn. <laughs> So I mean, D and D's over, huh? No. I, if you're all still ready, I'm I'm still prepped. So you two go back and get some sleep. Yep. Uh, so Naruto starts. Hello, everyone. So we made some progress in going through the computer that you brought back. It was tra transmitting a signal to another base that we can't identify. However, we did find a map uh, on the computer. It was a map of the world with marked locations. I sent a scout to the closest area. And we found another base. The scout uncovered a, uh, uncovered a facility underground akin to the one you went to. And there weren't any survivors in this one. There are three other marked locations here in the Land of Fire. And I've alerted the other Kage about the bases in their respective lands. So that brings me to your mission. You're going to check out the next of these locations in the Land of Fire. Investigate the area and bring back anything you find to be worthwhile in regards to Awari. Any questions? Is it near the prison? It is not. Okay. No questions. Let's roll. Oh, is it anywhere near the temple? Fire temple? No. 
<laughs> you get that buff. <laughs> I was gonna get that buff. <laughs> <laughs> that fire temple buff. So you all make your way to the area that you were told about. And you all appear in a forest. Mute my f- fucking yeah. Chris Hiccups. Gonna mute my phone. Why is there a gigantic tree stump in the middle of the forest? Just like last so, time. Just like last. Just time. like last time. I'm gonna go back <laughs> down. Yeah, I really don't need to explain that much. You see, you're in a giant forest. There's one giant tree in the center. This one's not dead though. This one's still alive. I just don't want to put on the leaves because it would literally take over everything in the map. Hey, can I walk right over here? Sure. It might. Not, it's probably. I want you not be over there this time. And you see, keep at. Well, this was pretty. This is pretty easy. Yeah, no, I guess time, the code. <laughs> last time, last time I did a computer check and I got it. <laughs> <laughs> you get a twenty. You got like a super high roll. I got a pretty good roll, and he was like, "Okay, that's good enough." <laughs> um, you did just press random buttons, didn't you? Do you want to do a roll knowledge check to see if you're? Uh, do you like want to try the same combination? Like roll knowledge check to see if you remember it. I would love to do that. Well, now let's check. <laughs> That's right of a D and D check. Is that good? You remember the combination was two zero four eight. I try it. It opens up. You see wow. once again an elevator akin to the other one. One button up, one button down. I clicked the down button. All right. Wait, you said the tree was alive? Yeah. And it's a big tree? Yeah. I clicked the up button first. All right, nothing happens. All right, click the down button. <laughs> Everyone in the elevator with them? Yeah. Yep. The two sleepy heads? Nope, yeah, they're outside. outside. They're going to eat yeah. bubbles. <laughs> you want to leave them out there? No. Yeah. They're safe today. <laughs> Team leader said no. They're not. They're not safer there. <laughs> and you all go down, except this time you. Oh, sorry. I was using a wire there for testing purposes. Um, oh no! Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we know what that means. <laughs> and so you all open up into a room that's that looks just like the check-in room of last time, except there's one big difference with this one. The room's lit up. It's not dim. Not dim. There's no dead trees. This facility is probably still active, at least. I don't know about abandoning or not, but we should definitely be on our guard. Well, that camera's on, right? Are, yep. Is Lane and Hira able to do anything this episode? <laughs> or are they just going to be asleep the whole time, pretty much? They're just going to be asleep the whole time. Hira healed uh, Takashi and it's like, oh man, I'm pooped after that. So we're just gonna set them uh, at that desk, oh, okay. like uh, like underneath where they're where they're hidden. Okay. I'm gonna use inst- can I use insanity's glare uh, at the camera? All right. Uh, hell's in- yeah, insanity glare. Let's do. It. Well, what's that do? Uh, any creature that meets the gaze no. will suffer and will say to be panicked. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't like the camera. Sorry. Hey. Nope. It's still looking though. I'll say you can roll an intimidate check if you want. Nah, oh, whatever. <laughs> hey, so uh, let me ask you this: Is the camera right on the front door, or is it kind of like uh, angled at where you see the desk and uh, the front of the desk? It's looking right over here. So you can see us walk in. Okay. Yep. I feel like something's gonna happen. To you. <laughs> well, I'm gonna walk up to the, how tall is the room? Uh, about twenty feet high. I'm gonna walk up to the camera and I'm gonna hop up and be like <laughs> just gonna go up and crush it. And pull it down. Okay. Do I need to do a jump jack or am I tall enough where it's not a big deal? Yeah, you're tall enough. Look at the look at look into the lens and then smile and then crush it. GG. No, I'm just going to crush it. (laughs) So you 
one second, I forgot to add one detail to this map. We're gonna crush the camera and then we're gonna put their two bodies behind that camp that uh <laughs> on that desk. Okay. And so the camera has now been crushed. Let me properly oh my thing froze, give me a second. I really need to one this issue. Two. Takashi, check out that piece of paper on the desk. What do you make of it? <clears throat> My finger and pick this up. And, uh, this. and you see it's a check-in sheet. Is there dates? There is a date. You see it's labeled for just over three weeks ago. And three on weeks? it, you just over three weeks ago. And on it, you also see a bunch of names. None of them you recognize except for one, which is the only name you also see twice. Awari. Awari! One checked in, one checked out. Cool. Same as last Why night. the fuck are you doing this at fucking nine o'clock? Yeah, Lane. It's a fucking jackhammer. What the? <laughs> what the heck? I was doing some jackhammering the other day, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Connor called the police. Ooh, ooh, that's the sound of the police. <laughs> GG. All the right. Genjutsu on the sheet there. Make sure he didn't alter it. All right. Roll again. Just check. Just like our uh, our freaking notes to the village. Oh, that was in the fucking Genju, so they did it then. No, GG. <clears throat> uh, so you oh, can tell there's no Genju, so. Yeah. Alright, let's roll then. I'm gonna take the sheet. Okay. Gonna open up the next door? Do we need to go in turn order, or is it just like keep moving until we run? Well, we'll, we'll go in turn order. So, uh, first up is Takashi. Alright, let's go in. So you're going to open up the door? Yeah. Okay. So I also realized something else I forgot to do. Man, I fucking poorly fucking... Oh, okay. Give me one second. <laughs> dark red. Dark red. Oh, those guys are dead. Oh my god. <laughs> It's like that scene. So, as soon as you walk in, you immediately tell an awful, awful smell. And you can see it's coming from two corpses that are, they have drag marks, their blood is definitely, you can tell they've been dragged from one area to the other, and they just look to be as though they were tortured, like they were mauled. And there are three freaking doorways. Oh! Hey guys, uh, let's split bridge. up! I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw up. Shag, Scoob. <laughs> Shag, Scoob. Go up top. If you want, you can roll for it. Too safe. See if you throw up, Richard. Yeah. Shag, Scoob, you go north. Vel or Velma, you go to the west, and uh, <laughs> Daphne and I will go south. So you Ooh. see that the room that is up to the top of the map is labeled orientation. Okay, yeah, Richard, you throw up. <laughs> <laughs> the one that is labeled down is showers, and the one that is ahead is testing facilities and housing and cafeteria. Very similar layout to the other one. Takashi. Almost identical. Takashi. Yeah. Can you make a couple of clones and check out the shower room and the and send one up through the uh, orientation room? I can't. I do want to know though if. Uh... If it's the same layout as the last one, then if somebody is still in here, uh, there's a camera in the, the orientation room, I guess, and then in the next hallway. <clears throat> and I remember. Like it came out yet, yeah. I remember. <laughs> there's also there also would be another door here if I made it. <laughs> <laughs> You still can't. But this is a little different. We didn't have to come into a uh, 
a cave to get to this place. This place we just came in. We just came off the elevator straight into it. So I guess I'm gonna use my elemental scroll and make uh, two clones, and I guess that'll be the end of my turn. All right. Oh, you know what? I want to check this body. Okay. Do a search check. Yep. Oh, well, are you like searching it for items, or are you trying to see what killed it? Uh, I'd like to say both. Okay, so you're gonna need to roll a search check to see if it has anything on it, and then a uh, treat injury check to see if it uh you can identify the cause of death. So that was the treat injury. <laughs> Okay, so you can't quite tell what killed it. However, you do see that there is a, uh, that there's some heavy like damage in the chest that seems like a just like a big circle of energy was blasted into it. You can see like chars around it. Oh, chart like chart areas. Yeah. And it smells kind of like a burn. A little bit, though it's hard to tell at this point because it's rotting a little bit. I touch it and I go. No, I'm just, I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, let's roll an AIDS check. No! <laughs> GG. Oh man, Fabuki just mauled here at a death. Why is Fabuki <laughs> here? I still have a token. <laughs> okay, and and and, and here is my search check. Update that. Oh. Okay, so you find roll your wealth check. <laughs> oh, cool. Really? Oh, right. yeah. awesome. Uh, six. Oh, roll my wealth check, like 1d6? 1d20 plus 6. Oh. Hey! Alright, you find 250 Rio on him. Oh. And you also see that he has a Kote-like device that is infused into his hand. I'm going to take that off. It's infused. So you're yeah. going to have to cut off the hand. I'm going to cut the hand off. Okay. And I'm going to put it in a and like a like a like a little bag, a little like a little bag thing, and put it in my bag so it's not bleeding all over the place. Do you have a little thing to put it? <sighs> yeah, it used to hold my food. <laughs> oh, yeah, you put it in your food jar, your food storage thing. Yeah, it's not. I don't have any food in there now. I haven't replenished it in a while, so. Okay. That's just evidence. You said 250 Rio. <laughs> yep. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Small amount, but you know, who knows? You might have more opportunities for it. How far did I move just then? Uh, I'm going to say that's, that's your whole turn, regardless. Yeah, okay, cool. So, Richard, you're up. I'm going right. to right, move here. That's it. You're going to move there, and that's it. Okay. Okay, obviously he wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> Takashi, back to you. All right. <clears throat> All right, I gotta move one clone there. Clone I'll let here. you open the door if you want as well for both of these. All or right. all of them, this if you go into all of them. No, this one's gonna go in first. Okay. So yeah. Oh, God damn it, whenever I fucking make a goddamn click. You see all the fucking naked people. Update my chrome or something because every time I'm trying to do something big, my thing just freezes on me. You freeze on us too. Yeah. Was like, I just can't even click anything. I just Chrome's fucking just running its gears. Alright. That's me just opening the doorway. Gonna open the one up top. Uh, for that, uh, this one's gonna do like the same thing, just like spot checks, anything. You don't see anything, don't have to roll a check. All right, do the same thing the last time, then. You gonna make a bucket, get some water. Under the okay. Water. Okay. <clears throat> and this one's gonna go in. All right, and you see another orientation room. Oh, I never updated your fucking vision like I meant to do. Since this place is well lit. Am I supposed to be able to see in there too? I'm updating your vision right now. Oh, okay. Oh, I still have that. 
Let me see y'all. <laughs> Yeah, your main token's vision was fine. It was the rest of them that were fucked. <laughs> GG. Uh. All right. Anything else you're doing, Takashi? Uh, that's going to be it right now. I'm going to walk up I'm about halfway into the room. Okay. <laughs> and do a uh, sense check of check. What's your range? I think it's 40. Maybe. You do not sense any foreign chakra on the other side of this wall. Alright. <clears throat> That's all we're going to do then. Alright, Silas is busy, so Richard, we're going to have you turn. I'm not busy. Alright, Silas is not busy. I was just being lovey-dovey. Aww. <laughs> I know, we're not a great... Um, well, uh, I was hoping Richard would uh, check that other body, so I guess I'll go do it. Okay. So, roll another search check and a trade injury check. There's the trade injury. Not bad. And the search check. Oh, you want me to do them both at the same all. time? Yep. Ooh, that one was not as good. No, you do not find anything on him. However, the tree injury, you do reveal a little bit more. You also notice that there seems to be a significant number of, uh, like, incisions into it. Um, but none of them are, like, medical incisions. It seems more like a level of torture. Make mental note of that. Um, can I say that I look at his wrist? Sure. You see the exact same device. Cut that shit off. Put it in my bag. Put it in my thing. <laughs> I'm I'm collecting. Okay. I want to get back on uh, Masayoshi's uh, good side because he did not like when I broke those chains. <laughs> 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 Is that okay? I didn't move near. I don't think I moved as far that time. Can I still move to the other door? Oh, that's that right. Cool. I'd like to. Oh, okay. I'll just move there. That's awesome. And you open it up and see. Another hallway. Um, also, I'd like to uh, just peek around. Everybody has their comms on, right? Richard? Yeah, I do. Good. Why? All right, I'm just making sure. I want to make sure everybody can hear. We can all hear each other. Yeah, you can do it. I don't want to get too separated, though, guys. So if we could, we're going to let... I would like to let um, Takashi's clones go into the um, other two rooms. And if y'all want to come this way, that would be great. It's probably better to stay together at this time. Roger. Especially since this, these don't look like... I mean, they're starting to rot, but it's a lot more fresh than the last place we were at, if you know what I mean. I mean, this looks like it could be just a week <laughs> or two old. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm looking at chat. Like this, I guess I'm looking at chat. <laughs> F you, Travis. <laughs> Alright, anyway, so it's Richard's turn now. Is it? Yep. Yes, sir. Wait, is that a projector? That is a projector. And he's not oh my either. god! What did you say? Stick together as a team? Yeah, no. I said. I said Takashi's clones are gonna check the top and bottom. Come this way, so we can all stay together as a team. But there's a projector, though, fam. Okay, Takashi's clone can handle it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go check out the projector. <laughs> <laughs> You see that the projector is on and not running a tape. However, you do see... I'm going to just move you next to it. There is a tape next to it. There's actually two tapes next to it. Uh, oh, I'm going to pick both of them it's... up and put uh, one in. Look, it's the ghost of Kona. And you see that the <laughs> projector flips on. 
and you see a Wari on the screen. Hello everyone, welcome to Offsite Ninja Tool study number one. If you're hearing this message, then that means you're one of the study cases. You are someone who is capable of the most base level of chakra control. You aren't a ninja, but you still want to defend yourself. Sounds Here at like this facility, will help you with that. These tests will combine new ninja tools with your base chakra to cause a surge of power. You will also be taking some experimental drugs that we have developed that are intended to strengthen you even further. Listen to the scientists and follow their orders, and you'll be stronger than ever in no time. And it clicks out. Oh, that sounds just like last time. I mean, you're right. Can I put number two in, or is that the end of my turn? No, you can put number two in. You see, once again, Awari is on the screen. Hello, everyone. Yep. Welcome to Offsite Ninja Tool Study number one. If you're hearing this message, then that means you're one of the six scientists who will be running this testing facility. You are, the, you are to give the test subjects tools that you think will be best suited to them, and then you are to track the results. After two weeks, you're going to then beginning, begin administering the drugs. Track the results once again. I'll be back in three weeks to see how things are going. That one's a little different. And that's it. Bum, 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 and my turn. All right. Takashi. I'm going to send this clone to you. How far is that? Not far. That's like 20 feet. Yeah, 20 feet. Okay. Get right here. I'm going to move. That's not you. That's not you. It's doing that thing. <laughs> Gee. Yeah, another clone is going to be on standby. <clears throat> All right, so that's it for you. Uh, I'm going to use auto hit me. And so is the clone. No, I just kidding. Just me. All right, that's going to end my turn. Okay. So Silas, you're up. And then we were split up again. Boy, this would be a lot easier if we had some more people here with us. Yeah, probably. Real shame. So, real Takashi, you coming with me? Yeah, let's roll. Alright, let's head up. Good way for Richard if you want. He'll catch up. No, I'm just in my clone with him. Yeah. The, clone will, the cl other clone will go with him. That, mean, that means Richard will have two clones. Uh, Errol. Richard, we're going to head north. You head south. with uh, When you get into this other uh, hallway, you head south with uh, Takashi's two clones. Copy that. Oh, that was nice. He actually agreed with me. <laughs> you're, not, you're not Kono. I'll take it back. <laughs> GG. So, get a move. Yes, I am. I just need to find out how far I can. How far around that corner will you let me move? I'll let you move uh, right there and open the door. Oh, is there a door there? Awesome. Yeah, there's a door there. I did not cheat there, so I didn't know. I will open the door. All right. And I will open that door for God damn it. I will open that door for you. Hmm. And you open it, and you see... Well, it looks to be a very long and thin table. As well as something that looks pretty close to like a gun range. Guess I'll find out what's in what's going on in there on my next turn. Mm-hmm. To Richard. And I uh, ready in action to follow Takashi's clone. Okay. No, <laughs> Takashi. All right. Want to move thirty feet so we can fully follow. I'm gonna move. Yeah, they're... All right, and the other one's just going to wait there. Yep. 
All right, Silas. Oh, this is going quick. So just going to step inside a little bit and just be walking and looking while I'm walking. So these are all, I guess it's a long tunnel and there's so a... All the blue that you see is like a uh, target. Like a body with like uh, targets on it. I see a glimpse of something right there. You see a glimpse of something. You can always take a step up and get a better look. Won't be your whole action. A dead person. I have to go check the body. <laughs> so I'll Search do and turn one... injury. Yeah, and I'm gonna take the one d six off because it's uh, I can't run it's out. Gonna... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep it because I have a lot of those. So you will have more than anyone else. Let me make sure that that's my treat injury. I didn't even look at that. I just assumed. Actually, my treat injury is a plus three. Okay, so 13. So you see the exact same uh, wound that was on the one before. And your search check. Is that the 12? No, that wasn't. Oh my god. Uh, you don't find anything of value on this one. You see, But you do notice the same arm device. Alright. Takashi, or uh, Richard. Follow. Uh, Follow Takashi. Okay, Takashi. Yeah. Please don't shoot me, Takashi. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, what a lifelike target. <laughs> GG. <laughs> actually, uh, I'm just moving right here, actually. And then that's this clone's action is going to be to follow this clone. <laughs> God damn it. So you're going to make a huge stream. Okay. This makes things easier. Sure. <laughs> I gotta move 30 feet at least. Yeah. We're all together. And that ends it. <clears throat> all right, so back up to Silas. Well, I gotta uh, how, f exactly. how far can I move? I ain't gonna say I can move. There's a camera there. <laughs> Actually, there's a camera there. <clears throat> I'm gonna ignore it. Meta game wise, you wouldn't see it, but on the way back, I would see it. I mean, it's right in the door. That's above the doorway. <laughs> yeah, remember this room's twenty foot tall. I think, unless this one's shorter. Nope, this whole facility yeah, is twenty is... foot. Was this rare? You see, that's a small, long table, wooden table. What's on the table? You see that there's nothing on the table. But you see that there is dust traces around the table at various locations, so you can tell like there are places where dust isn't, so you know that something was there. I'm going to find this. You're going to do what? Investigate. I know that there was something there, so I'm going to investigate further. See if I can find out what was there. All right, roll that check. You do not know what was there. That's sweet. Is there these like rooms right here? Lighting things there? So you can see that it's like a gun range. The little blue oh, things yeah. that you see in, where you're that's cutting off your vision. Those are like human shaped targets. Ninja shaped targets. Pretty gruesome room. And you also see a little something out of the corner of your vision there. Yeah, I do you see that? The, another body, it looks like. I'm going to walk down the rest of his range to see what else is yeah. here. Somebody. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Somebody once told me. Gosh dang, there's bodies everywhere. He just went and fired off. Alright, that ends my turn. <clears throat> All right, Silas. Silas. Boy, these turns are going quick. I like it. 
<laughs> did Takashi, did you already go down and sh- I see a body down this hallway. Did you already go down the second one and look at it? No. Uh, the only one I'm going down is the one. You got out. Uh, the only one that I've gone down is on the very end. I'm going to go That's... check out this body. If Connor will let me. Is that I'll let you go that far. That's fine. <clears throat> so there's the treat injury. Darn. Yeah, nothing more than what's uh, been seen previously. And then there's the search. Hey! And roll well check. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, here we go. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, so you find 150 real. And a Kote and a Kote device. And another device on his arm. It's not exactly a Kote. It's modified. Much, uh, it's different. You said it's fused in the arm. Is it like right off the edge of the arm, so I could like actually shave it off of the arm if I wanted to, or is it like actually like really far in there? You know, I was just like trying like diagnose it, trying to like cut your way in and see how far. I'm not a doctor or nothing, but it's raining bitches. <laughs> you could just experiment, just like cut one of them in half, one of the devices, and see what's uh, see where it's connected in the hand or the arm. Yeah. Okay. You want me, can I do that? Yeah. So you do that, and you slice it open. And you see that there are metal rods that are ingrained into the very bone of the subject. Yummy. Yeah, it's sort of just fastening it all in. So I just throw it in the throw it in there. Okay. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep collecting. <laughs> body parts. Body parts. Body, 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 body parts. How much did you say? 150. Yep, 150. So far, you've got 400 in total. Hey, I'm gonna make my fortune here. <laughs> Takashi. I was like, same door. All right. <laughs> 10, 15, 20, 5. There's a dead guy here and a dead guy there. I'm currently been searching the. Uh, I've currently been searching the bodies. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I guess we're gonna search this guy then. All right, real search check. Does not recognize. Flash search. <laughs> All right. So you see that he also has a Kote device on his arm and roll wealth check. Uh, what a sweat as well. Oh, darn, I click Steam. You find 140 Rio. Sweet. Alright, I'm back, fam. Welcome back. Alright, so that's 20 feet. Keep on scrolling. Time keeps on ticking, ticking, ticking into the future. Same thing with this guy. Oh, that's a wolf check. What was it? Uh, I rolled the wrong one. That 11 was supposed to be 10. So I just re rolled. Okay. So you find the same device and more money. So roll wolf check. And you find 190 Rio. Still not as good as my first find, 250. <laughs> <laughs> I give the bodies a cannotation when they've been gone through. It'll be green. Alright. That ends my turn. So you haven't been collecting the, the devices, you've just been collecting the money, right? Yeah. Alright. I was just checking. I probably don't, you know, probably don't need to collect any more of them. I'm, I'm sure that's enough for them to look at and find stuff out about. I just want to Shit, be thorough. Pac Man. The, the vision of here and Lane combined right now looks a lot like Pac Man. GG. Screen chat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Giazzo this and crash my computer. Yeah. All right. You can uh, continue as normal. <laughs> Uh, that was uh, me moving. That was on. 
Okay, Silas. Already moved. All right, back to Takashi. Or uh, Richard, are you still following? Absolutely. All right, there's that image in Discord. And back to Takashi. Mm-hmm. So you can see that that's the end of the hallway. This place is uh, stone, right? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, I'm going to get right here and move my clone. 20. Go ahead and walk in. Five. Ready? Clones report in. Nothing to see, sir. All right. <laughs> then we'll uh, end my turn. And until Silas, right. I'm going to train. Uh, I was going to see if I can go through this wall here. All right, then I'm going to head back up top th- uh, through the through the door and back to the right. Try to meet me. Be okay. careful. I just get you some slack. What? The Silas on is just angle. Oh, is it my turn? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I thought he was still going. Where would you like me to be? Just in that area? Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Back to Richard. Uh, Still going to follow. All right. Back to Takshi. All right. GG. I'm going to use soft and soft on the wall, man. All right. And to succeed. Yeah, you know, fuck it. Let's have the world roll. Blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Wall will roll a fucking fortitude save. What was its bonus? Because it's stone. Was it five? Yeah. Yep. This is so stupid. Are you serious? It fails. That's four in FI. Alright, regardless, it fails. GG. Why would the Earth get a forty? It's not. I, I guess it's not like a living thing. <laughs> I don't know now. No, oh, please. the Earth's a living thing. I got. I can tell you a bunch of hippies that will say that. <laughs> and if you're a hippie watching this content, know that I appreciate you. Rip. This guy's a douche. This guy. <laughs> he's a. He's trying to appease the shit out of us. <laughs> and you know what? It's working. <laughs> Let's give him money. That's what I see in my head. <laughs> sure. <laughs> that's the dream, isn't it? Hey, we like what you're doing. Keep it up. Yeah, that's the dream for sure. For sure. It's like an enemy. <laughs> we like Silas the most. Pay him the most. Sure. <laughs> give me that money. Man. I'll get the second most. Next. So, next up is Silas. You know, uh, the GM gets the most, like, double everything, everybody else, and then Silas gets the next, and then whoever hasn't had the most uh, death, <laughs> deaths after that can... <laughs> we'll, we'll Don't worry, a Silver's death won't count against you, Takashi. <laughs> roll a 1d20. <laughs> oh, th- thank you for giving me light. I appreciate that. Roll a wealth check to determine how much you get paid. Did you just Jeez. do that light, or did... Uh... Yeah, that was me, that was me. That was cool. Okay. Oh my god, there are three Takashis over there. <laughs> Beware. Only so you guys three, see yeah. me uh, walk across to the next part of the hallway? Yeah. Open up the next door. <laughs> door by the way. Holy cow. Yeah. Yeah, you thought this was going to be easy. I'm just going to... This could be the minute like of my the turn fucking SSN want. on Pokemon. <laughs> GG. Yeah, I remember that. That was great. I don't even know if I... To this day, I don't even know if I checked every door in that place. Oh, I always do. Gotta challenge every goddamn trainer in the world. Check every trash can. Kick their ass in one attack. That's my motto. GG. Pretty much. Check every trash can, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Find that locked door with those two lesbian girls. Oh? 
It's not in the SSN. It's in a fucking later game. Ruby. And Pearl, or, uh, so, Sapphire. Ruby and Sapphire. So I'd like to try to open this door. And you open the door. And you see a bed in there and nothing else. Nothing else at all? Do I need to do a search check to make sure? Or is it... Nothing else. We're just going to save time at this point. So save time as they move to the next door or save time as in next turn? As in next turn. All right. Richard. Well, as is seen, there's a there's a band of keys right there. Yeah, yeah, you are seeing that. Why is there a band of keys? What? I'm gonna go attack the Keith. <laughs> really? You're gonna attack the Keith from right yeah. right there. Or are you gonna move, uh, move forward? You're not even gonna say hello. You're just gonna be like, "Fuck you, band of Keith." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's always worked the best. Yeah, go ahead. Oh uh, no, I was gonna walk up and uh, introduce myself. Yeah. He's going to dress up as Bandit Keith and walk up. Hey, Bandit Keith. I'm Bandit Keith. So I'm just going to walk up and uh, right here and uh, say hello. And you see that all five of them turn around. They look at Wow, you. five of them. Rip. Five? And that's when Takashi says, uh, Silas? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So they all start walking towards you and go, who are you? Uh, I'm with a uh, with a wire. I was really hoping that they were gonna have that cool accent. You a member of Team Two? <laughs> you want me to try and do a Bandit Keith accent? No, I, I wanted you to do the um. What are they called? The boys. Uh, the Yamaguchi, Yamaguchi, Yamaguchi boys. boys. <laughs> nah, nah. These guys, ain't, these guys ain't no Yamaguchi boys. <laughs> I was hoping it was. I hope we see them again. They're so cool. They're fun people to do the voices of. So, what's it that you're doing here? You remember a team two? Yeah. That ah. is not a bluff. We are members of team two. <laughs> well, we've been expecting you. Our leader wants to talk to you. All right. Well, can you take us to him? And the guys look around and goes, yeah, so long as everyone's willing to come without a fight, we'll take you directly to the leader. All right. Hold on. I'm going to my uh, walkie-talkie radio, I don't know what it is, headset. And, uh, uh, guys, I found some uh, bandits that want to take us to the leader without a fight. That's what they all say. <laughs> I think to myself. I do Morse code. <laughs> Fuck you too, man! How'd you know? All right, I'll be right there. <laughs> I I purposely don't say anything. I like the idea of just yeah, I'll be right there. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> GG. It is my turn. I purposely right. don't say anything. Taxi's turn. Uh, one of my clones is gonna transform the Silas. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm gonna read okay. you, of course. I've got a plan, Silas. That so roll the skies check. Uh huh. Here we go. Here comes the Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> the which, Rocky. One's, uh, which one's doing the transformation? The middle one. Oh All boy. Right. Here we go. Here comes Rocky. Guys. Wow, I got a plus five on that. All right. Hey, yo, Paul. You, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> you jinx it. All yeah, right, so great. we got a uh, yeah, so we got a uh, fucking Rocky. Got Rocky Silas. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's not gonna work. Dispel that. No, 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 no. It's already done. You can deactivate your transformation. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. I want that. <laughs> okay, right. it's within your power. It's within your. Can I do that? Can I do the voice? Can I do the voice for him? I'm gonna do the voice for him. <clears throat> Alright, let's go then. I was gonna send right. my clones down there pretty much. Yeah, let's, let's go. <laughs> Alright, so we're we're rolling with this. Let's do it. Bye. Rolling. Bye. GG. One of the guys looks at the one who uh, did the terrible transformation. He goes, There we go, that's the freaky one that we heard about. Okay. Now we know who you. you. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> so 
You mean Hira? <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? Uh, Silas, was that it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Do I need to do a reputation check? <laughs> no. <laughs> that makes me sad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna cover up my face at this point with a little Kakashi mask. And uh I'm gonna open this door right here. Alright, you open that door and see a bed. Cool. Can I walk over here? Yep. Open this door. What see you bed. Cool. Alright, next turn. Alright, Richard. What? No, Silas, 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 Silas. Silas. Let's say I haven't gone in a while. What the hell? <laughs> Open. Empty. Open. What do you want me Empty. to do? What? Open. Oh. Empty. Open. I was informing Empty. you about the two kilometers. How far is that? Away. Uh, that was your full movement right there. All right. What? what? I'm confused. What do you need me to do? No, uh, now it's your turn. Oh no! Uh, I was just telling you that I had two clones. So I'm just gonna sit silently and uh. Wait for my team to get here. I'm gonna tell them they're on their way. Oh, they're already there. Hopefully, I'm not lying. They're, right they're, already, you. they're already there. They're right beside you. Oh. Yeah, I see Silas and Takashi right next to you. He can tell <laughs> Silas doesn't quite look himself, though. I thought it was just the clones. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I love the transformation. It did a terrible transformation with the critical one. It's Rocky, Silas. <laughs> uh, okay. We walk into that room and we find the woman from Silas's past, the giant woman. <laughs> hey, what's up, giant woman? <laughs> GG. Well, I mean, that's the end of my turn. Oh, wait, that never happened. GG. I'm just, just going to do nothing. Okay. <laughs> so they were going to take us to the leader. I just sworn I made a rocky token. Oh no. <laughs> hey, what about Paulie? He had sex with the meat. <laughs> but I'm not seeing it anywhere. What? I'm not seeing my uh, Rocky token. Adrian! Yeah, must have not uh, done it, or I deleted it when I did my big sweep. Oh, right. Uh, oh, no, no. Uh, okay, no, that's not there. There was not a Rocky token. You never no. did. No, nope, I must have never done it. No, you you had a Channing Tatum token, but you never had a Rocky token. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. So, NPCs, they're going to go, all right. So now that you got you three here, follow us. I have a bad feeling about uh, for Richard in this part. I said, don't separate. <laughs> They're going to start leading you. And by the way, guys, uh, who is your leader? You're going to find out when you speak to him. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well. The root there. It's a worry. I'm joking. No, it's Corte. I'm usually pretty good at so, these answers. Takshi, you're up next. Yeah. Just the main you. The other ones are being escorted. I'm going to use uh, your projection technique and continue checking these rooms. All right. So I'm going to walk up to this one. And with your projection, I can tell if somebody's in here. No one's in there. All right, I'm opening up in. All right. Is your room uh, empty aside from bed? All right, walk up to this one. Empty. Uh, I'm just going to keep going. Empty. Empty. All right. I'll let you do two more. All right. I am checking first. Isn't that sweet blind? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> so make sure that there's anybody in there. <laughs> I get you, I get you. <laughs> All right, Silas, you're up. <sighs> <laughs> Empty. 
Empty. <gasps> and empty. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap. Okay. No. I wish I could bust through this wall right here. Or does anything on the other side? You could try. See Let's find out. However, that's the end of your movement, so you're going to have to wait a turn. Oh. And now the NPCs are going to escort you through another room. Where you see two more guards. And they goes, hey, yo, we got uh, we got team two here. Lita is, you know, wanting to see him. You also see another camera over there. You guys go, okay. All right, let's let him in. Wait, 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 guys. Before we go in, I uh, got a couple of questions. Okay. Sorry, go the lead is going to answer the questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's you, Nate. Hey, rude. That's twice they've cut you off, Dr. G. Yeah. You guys are. Uh... And you see that the guy is sitting on a pile of bodies. This cool guy. And as you approach, he steps off of him and hops down to the ground. So, you're Team 2. I was told you might be coming by. You see, Awari told me if I can kill you, he'll reward me. You see, he takes off his, takes off his shirt and you see a metal object poking out of his stomach, out of the right side. As I am a ninja tool now, I'm in complete control of this. And you all, you're fucked. Whoa. And you see, in his, around his stomach where the tool is, you see it begins to glow five different colors. Oh, we got a bad guy here. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> and he's going to start off the uh, combat with an attack. <laughs> GG. Which will uh, hit all of I... you. Can, can I shout go? over the radio? Sure. Alright, my clone is gonna say he's here, sir. It's uh, a trap. He's here, <laughs> sir. Yeah, he's talking to me. I like <laughs> you to talk. call yourself, sir. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking an owl narcissist. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> At least he doesn't call himself the boss. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, all three of you, get to make a reflex save. That's a poor reflex save. That's uh, you too, Richard. That's thing one and that's thing two. Richard, you pass. Uh, Takashi, both of you fail. Aw. <laughs> Unless, of uh, course. Do you have evasion, Richard? I don't think so. Let me look. Hey, you're new ninjutsu base, so I wouldn't expect you to. Don't have dodge. Does that count? Nope. So Takashi, you both of your clones take twenty-two points of damage, and Richard, you take uh, eleven. And you see a multicolored ray of energy just shot out in a cone ahead of him. So, so I'm going to say that you kind of heard something coming from the other side of that wall that you're at. That riff, exactly. As I'm sure you've already assumed. Yeah. Oh, so both of you see that both of the fucking talk and she's ahead of you, Richard, are gone. <laughs> and the rest of the NPCs have already moved, so they can't attack. So, Silas, you're up. They're uh, Takashi, you're up. I'm sorry, I lied to you, Silas. Again. Alright. Their dang breasts, they told me their location. So I'll rush to their aid. Good father would. They're, they're, they're here, sir. 
<laughs> All right, Silas, you're up. Sir, sir. I'm sorry, I can't help that. That was funny. <laughs> GG. What do you want me to roll? A uh, damage check or a strength check? Strength check. Man, if you get a critical one, that'd be hilarious. Ah. <laughs> uh... What's the 17 coming from, anyway? Oh, whoops. I'm at 7. Fuck. Alright, so it was, it was only... <laughs> okay, 18 still a pass. Alright. Cool. And you punch through the wall. I'm just going to do the other side. Because my dynamic lighting is not properly set up for going through walls. You know, I'm always trying to fuck up your dynamic lighting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. GG. And you enter a room where you see that there's one guy who's got a shirt, who's shirtless, standing in front of a pile of bodies, and a bunch of guys around him, and they all kind of look around as you punch through the wall. They all turn back and look at me? Yep. Hey. Get him! Well, that's not the end of my turn yet, so what? Yep. It's the end of my turn. All right. Um, so I'm going to walk into this room and actually shut the door. This is part of plan. Okay. And that's my turn. All righty. And now it's the NPC turn. You imagine, um, <laughs> play me out, Johnny. Dun, 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 dun. So, Richard, you see that this guy clicks his right, like, you see, he kind of like grabs a walkie talkie on his uh belt. He goes, All right, rest the units. We got team two here. Get your butts to my area now. The rest of the units, how many fucking guys are there? Takashi, you see the door right next to you opens up. Yeah, yeah, it's your lucky day, buddy. You see two guys come over. All right, two guys in there. <laughs> and they immediately open up and they see you there. It's like, attack! And you see they both hand their uh, fists out forward. You see they've got Kote like devices on them. GG. And they're both <laughs> going to attack you. What a hold up. <laughs> That's the first hit. That a miss? Uh, I'm on the wrong at the tab. Yes. <laughs> Second hit. Uh, it's also a miss. <laughs> All right, and you saw. You saw that the first beam of light that was shot out was uh, white, and the second one was yellow. The heck. And so that is it for those two. Now it's for the rest of the NPCs. Because, all right, half of you go and get chased after that one big guy. Rest of you on me with this little pipsqueak here. Sorry, pipsqueak. Oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> I didn't know I could do this. <laughs> what? I'll show you. There's no way else in the way. Ah, uh, that's only the... Uh... The picture of the avatar. Oh, then I changed the avatar. I guess I didn't save it. Nah. What are you doing? I changed. I was changing the picture on the avatar. The gentleman dude. I don't even see it. So is it my turn yet? No, not yet. Uh, All four of these get an attack at you. All right, try to hit. All right, here's the first guy. Oh, sorry, that was the wrong attack. God. Sorry, I was chomping it. Twenty-two. Uh, the Mesa Reno. All right, so that was from that guy there, and it was a 
Brown Ray. Okay, Connor, then, I'm going to tell you right now, I have defense 28. 28, okay. Now this is this guy here. He's going to attack you. And that's a miss. And you see, he shut out a yellow ray. Now this guy is going to attack you. And you see, he holds out, uh, he pulls out a different looking device than the other two did. This one kind of extends out kind of like a claw. And he shoots at you. And that's a miss. And the, finally, the leader's going to All right, y'all bunch of amateurs need to leave this to me. You see gestures, and his body begins to glow up again, and he's going to shoot at you, which is also a miss. But that last one you saw was a much stronger uh, beam of light than the rest of them. Amateur. God, we can't take one kid. Come on now. All right, now you're up, Richard. Um, does this door open inward or outward? Uh, inward, so towards you. Okay, I'm just going to say that I have my body pressed up against it, kind of like this, and I have my head up against it so I can hear if someone's coming up to open the door. Kick! Ah. No, I have my hands up against it so they can't, so if they kick it, I, I have it pressed. So I'm going to use a uh, syrup capture technique. Okay. Alright, so they all get a reflex save to see if they avoid it. What's your uh, intelligence modifier? You're asking the good questions, Connor. That's a plus two. Plus two. All right. So the DC that they have to beat is 13. 14. <laughs> that guy fails. That guy passes. That guy passes. That guy passes. So which one failed? That guy right there. I'll give him a right. fucking symbol on him to show that he's stuck. I'm already in action to uh, move to the left when someone attacks. Okay. End of my turn. Okay. GG. All right. So, uh, Takashi, you're up. All right. I'm going to use Blossom Escape Technique. Okay. Which fires down the bottom. We'll save. Uh, we'll disbelieve. Who's Will? Uh, Mr. Smith. Oh, okay. Mr. Anderson. <laughs> Surprised to see me. Rip. That's a DC of 18. It's... Okay, so I don't need to roll up that to negate. Or to disbelieve. They both fail. So, complete concealment then. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Make a high check while observed. These blossoms are covered. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so, I guess I make a high check then. For uh, concealment. Okay. Oh, yeah, I saw this. I'll save us all a smidgen of effort. Yeah. Everyone drop dead? Everyone drops dead? Richard, you see you have backup. GG. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> You better be following me now. No, I'm being serious. Why He's is awoken he from his slumber. And Why is he? decided to come over to help. Why, though? Alright, so that's your high check. Yep. And I'm gonna move the wall. You're gonna what? Gonna move. Okay. Alright, so that's it for you? Yep. Alright, Silas. I'm going to activate my strength rank, uh, and then um, 
do I need to do like a listen check to see if they're outside the around the door or outside the door? Yeah, roll a listen check. Dokey. I don't know if they were trying to sneak up or not. Let me. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so you can tell that they are out there. Like right outside the door? You can tell that at least one of them is right outside the door. If I kick the door off the hinges, like fly into the hallway, is that going to count as an attack action? Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna do it. Difference. Okay. Roll a strength check. Now I'm gonna roll a seven. Now I get to roll a seventeen. Hey, two twenty six in a row. <laughs> and you take your foot up and you <laughs> kick the door off of his hinges and. Give me a second. You see that the guy who was on the opposite side of it gets slammed across, as does... Alright, it's on the map layer. Oh, can I not grab that easily? As does the door with them. Do I move back right there? Oh, uh, yeah, you'll be right there. Let me fuck and then I, then I go all Scorpion King on him. Who's next? <laughs> ba, 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 ba. That's all my shit. There we go. Now things look good as now. Right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, this is going to roll fortitude save as well. With the earth? You have knocked the guy unconscious who you hit. Dang. And also roll damage. Roll 1d8 plus your strength. Is that with the? Is that, wait, wait. Not, with, not with the plus ten, just your base strength mod. But do I get the plus four if I was doing attack from the strength? The plus four is to the attack, not the damage, right? It's for the damage and attack. Okay, then plus four, yeah. All right, he takes eighteen points of damage. Just from a kick and a door. <laughs> get you some. Get you some of that door. I reward cool that. actions using your environment. I like that. Like when Takshi went from tree to tree with that ambush area. Yeah, that's that was sweet. cool. <laughs> All right. So that's it for Silas. Next up is Richard. No, oh, no. Next up is the NPC. I'm sorry. I like Gosh, it, Richard. Dang it. These three guys are all going to attack you, though, Silas. Mm -hmm. That guy's going first. Then that guy. Then that guy. Alright. Alright, so first one. I need to stop fucking picking this up. I'm just going to hate myself in editing later. <laughs> I'm going That's to substitute with the bed. Okay, this is the first attack. I'm going to substitute with the bed. Alright, and you substitute with the bed. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to even look at the attack. It doesn't matter if it's going to hit me or not. The substitute's going to be with the bed. <laughs> Just move yourself back to where the bed was. I'm going to imagine that it was flipped up so it's as tall as me in the, in the doorway. Yeah, that's what I was imagining too. And that way I can properly do that other than. Hey, good job, GM. Almost. There. Hey, perfect. And you see that that shred got torn as that happened. It just got shredded. But it moves me across the room, so they have to actually move into the room to be to attack me. Yep, so that was that guy right there. No, no, no. That was that, that guy. guy. The first attack, yep. Mm -hmm. This guy's moving in. This guy's going to move in, too. Now they're going to do their attacks. 
So this is the first one. That's a hit. That is a hit. I'm just going to do the roll for the... Well, for the next guy on the hit. That is a miss. That's a miss. All right, you also get a reflex, or a fortitude save for this. <laughs> All right, that's your fortitude save? I have a high fortitude save. Okay, you have that. It actually has a will save. GG. And so you pass, so you are not stunned, and you take half of this damage. You take five damage. Cool. Yeah, nothing significant from that guy. All right, so next up are these guys. That guy's going to attack you, Richard. That guy's going to attack you, Richard. And that guy's going to attack you. So first guy I said was him, so you're going to take a step to the left. Oh, here, I'll put here or there. <laughs> so you can put here there? Oh yeah yeah, here is there. That's funny. Here it came to hell. Alright. So you have dodged the first attack with that ready to action, but the other two are still gonna be coming at you. So that one's a hit. That one's a hit. Well you have what? What? God damn it. <laughs> what? Oh god damn it. So, first attack, you had a reflex save and a fortitude save. Okay, so I exited it out by accident. My yeah. reflex is 14 and my fortitude 7. You pass the reflex save, you don't pass the fortitude save. So you take 16 points of damage. And you are knocked back. You are knocked back into Hira at a rate of 30 miles an hour. Or 30 wow. miles per 6 seconds. So Hira instead takes the fucking hit for that and he is launched backwards. <laughs> He's going to take some damage. He's going to take 5d6 damage from you being knocked into him. But I don't take any. Yeah, you're also gonna take some damage. You're also gonna take eighteen. Um, and then the NPC is going to uh, hit you with his attack, which is. Wait, did you take away eighteen already? Yeah. But why am I down to forty-five? You took two bits of damage. You took sixteen and eighteen. Oh. Actually, you should have, you should have eight more than that. Let me add that eight to you. Wow. And that's another hit to me? Are you serious? That's another hit to you. That's the so this one you also get another reflex save on. Charlotte, you rolled this one unless you want me to again. Which you failed to save on, just barely. Um I'm going to use my spirit die. <laughs> okay. That's a pretty high roll, buddy. It failed though. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying the odds. Yeah. It, it is not wanting again. to roll. It is not wanting to roll. Let's give it ten, nine, the odds of a, eight, of a one. seven, three. Six, the odds for a one. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm just gonna roll for you. You pass. Oh, you take half damage. Then GM rolls. <laughs> so instead, you take fourteen damage. Which here is now gonna run up to you and start healing you. Oh, hey, look, finally went through. That would still want to pass. GG. Now, which I don't remember exactly what his shit is, so I'm just gonna say five D eight. I'm gonna undersell it instead of oversell it. Cool. And again, 25 health. All right, next up is Richard. Wait, my turn? Yep. Okay, so don't hit me, guys, but um, considering Mr. Two. <laughs> Brett, that since you're on the other side of walls, it's not going to actually reach you. Not yet. Okay. 
Uh, so what good, uh, mastery do you have of Method of Mist Fighting? I have rank of 5 of Reno. You have it all the way? All the way maxed. Alright, so your vision is now only 15 feet instead of 5. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to move. And I'm gonna I'm gonna grab Hira's collar and drag him. Okay. That'll be the end of my turn. Okay. And back up to uh, Takashi. All right. How much longer you got, Silas? Probably about 10 minutes, Max. Okay. Alright, use a softened stone technique. Okay. Do you get rid of this door? Alright, let's see if the door is going to resist. It does not, you're fine. Sweet. Turn to dust. Turn to everlasting darkness. What the? I was going to say that. This is another room? <laughs> what the? And you see that there is a dead scientist in that room. R.I.P. science guy. I mean, where the heck does this even lead to? Hey, pop quiz. And this is a spirit die to whoever gets the right answer. What does, uh, what does the character say after the guy says, To everlasting darkness! I know now... The key to your heart is light. The 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 uh, what's behind the door is light. I'm sorry, that's a different point. Did something about goes, light though. Kingdom Hearts, fill me with the power of darkness. That's when he says that line. Uh, and uh, something about light though. No, they don't say anything about light. He just starts cackling maniacally. It's not about light actually. After this quote. Rip. He is now whatever is like blah 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 everlasting darkness as Riku swings the keyblade is and Sora blocks it. No, here's another one. Here's another one. What does he say? What does he say during the fight every like every five minutes? Every five seconds. Turn to darkness, something like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The correct quote for my answer is, there's no way you're taking Kyrie's heart. Yeah, I read. So no spirit dies to anyone but me. Oh, All right, you're back up, Thugshi. Morning Thugshi. the spirit day. <laughs> so you can continue. I'll let you get at least one more move action. That's okay. I still have three. Do you have three spirit day? I have three spirit die that I'm saving for special occasions. <laughs> <laughs> GG. Like the next time we have a joining exam, <laughs> I'm gonna save them up. You're gonna, I'm gonna, maybe it's gonna be like, hey, how many spirit die do you have, Silas, for this joining exam? Uh, about ten. How about that? And then you gotta fucking roll one, 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 one. What if you? Oh, I am not supposed to pass this test. <laughs> uh, GG. So it's actually you can move one more time. Um, I'm gonna sit right here. Just gonna sit right there. Yep. Is there anything right. you and me? Uh, not really. There's like a bed. Fudge. All right. <laughs> Could have sworn they were right at me. So the effing clone. I thought it was where the effing clone. Was. All right. Well, there we go. Here, there's the, there's the bed. GG. Yeah, think again, Takashi. Think again. I'm gonna get through here. <laughs> All right, Silas, you're up. On Guardian, turn to darkness. That's it. Yeah. God, what a pain in the ass fight that was. Oh no, not as much as the Riku fight because I was not leveled up enough and I could not pass that fight. That was a hard Ooh. fight too. The fun fight was in the second one when you fought against Sephiroth. Oh, counter, 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 counter. I liked, I liked in the first game when you fought against Riku. Like, it was a hard as fuck fight, but it was a fun fight. 
I'd like to ask um, if I could do something in this fight right, I'm about to happen right here. And um, it's just a, it's just a question. Feel free to say, no, that's too much. I was going to see if I could run at this dude, uh, grappling him, throwing him into the wall, and then throwing him at the dude to the left. I'll allow it. Hey, do I need to, run, do I need to do a grapple check then? Yep. Did I pass? Let's see. He's going to make an opposed grapple check. He passed. Okay, so that would put me like right on where his square is, because I just ran into him and then I'll throw him at the other dude. This dude, right, this we'll dude right here. Which is the same, I think. The same? No, it's not the same throw. Stupid. That's. The, hey, nice. GG. See that they're both still up, but they are both kind of like, oh, yeah, that was a pain. That hurts. Oh, Do I need to roll some kind of like damage? Nope. I've already calculated it from what your strength check was. Cool. And that one dude I threw, I hit him against the wall, and then I threw him. So, yep. Just, okay, cool. Now, um, where I'm standing, am I away from this dude where he has to actually walk into the door to get me, or do I? can he still hit me? Like, he can still he... hit you. Okay. Well, there's that. I'll give you... A, you'll have partial concealment, but he can still hit you. Okay. Which means he has a 20% chance to miss. Right. And he's going to try and take that chance right now. So let's fucking roll a 1d5. And he does not miss. <sighs> yeah. I'm and that's it. his attack. That's uh, nice. Well, he did miss, actually. <laughs> mm. The other guy who's in that room with you, the bottom... Or the top one in the room with you, is going to attack. Is that a miss? Oh, yeah. Hit. That's a hit. All right, and the other guy's going to make his attack as well. Now it's a miss. Yeah, so roll fortitude save. I totally fucked that up. My strength check was not that high. I was supposed to be plus 11. Did I still make that go a minute ago? You might have to decrease a couple of hit points off of, or increase a couple of hit points on them. From the 34 roll? Yeah, it should have been... Uh, 29. Plus, plus a, uh, plus a, uh, okay, yeah, you still succeed. Seven. Okay. I'll adjust the hit points, though. Thank you. This is my point. All right, so you pass, so you take half of this damage. Take four damage. Oh my gosh, these guys are killing me. Mm -hmm. And you are not stunned from the yellow bolt. Uh -uh. This guy is going to attack exactly where I thought you were. You see a beam just kind of shoot through the mist. That guy's going to attack where you thought you were, and you see a beam shoot through the mist. This guy is going to do his cone attack. Which you are both in the range of. So you both uh, need to roll a reflex save. I mean you, Richard. Okay, if you're already on it. Might use Twitch a little bit. Is that combat? Dang it. You unfortunately fail that reflex save, and you take 30 points of damage. Uh, Here, auto fails, and also takes 30 points of damage. Because I don't know his reflex. He would have failed anyways. Probably. All right. <clears throat> and next up is Richard. Uh, the would have hit these guys. So you also kind of hear like, uh, ah, leader, come on, you watch it. <laughs> GG. So yeah, here you are at Takashi. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You definitely oh, heard some uh, clashing happen outside of this wall. It is time. Can I open the door? Oh, is it my turn? Yep, it's your turn. No, Richard. GG. All right, I skipped Richard. Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can go, Richard. First, Takashi and Silas are dogging me. Now the GM, man. I'm sorry. Where's my spirit die? <laughs> okay, spirit die. Hey. Hey. 
You gonna do anything? I'm looking up my ability. I don't know everything memorized yet. Jesus. <laughs> Take that spirit out of my hands. Okay, you know what? You know what? Spin <laughs> water <laughs> spines technique. I'm just gonna hit the guy in front of me with all thirteen. Okay. So bang. Uh, so he gets a roll of 13d4. He takes 34 points of damage, and you see his lifeless corpse drop. Yeah. All right, so that's Richard's turn. Now you're up, Takashi. All right. Can open that door? I am going to make a clone first, and I'm going to walk through that door. So cautious. But, but he's going to open the door. Yeah. Okay. So just uh, walk up to the door right now. Don't quite walk through it. Up to the door? I yeah. Which one's uh, walking through? I'm walking through. You're both? Okay, you are? Okay. Yeah. So when you open the door, yeah. notice something. Yeah. You notice that you have opened it up into a thick cloud of mist. Really? So your vision's there, it is. Uh, except for 10 feet. Hey, but you got a method of mist fighting, though. Do you have it mastered up to 10 feet? No, I've got blinds with uh, your projection technique. Yeah, 10 right. feet blind sense. Or blind sight. Right. There you go. I've only got it to mastery one right now. After that free mastery. Alrighty. What the heck, Hira? Hey, I got over my map. <laughs> Method of miss fighting. Call me patches from now on. Rip. GG. So I'm gonna patch you up. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> this is gonna get awkward because my clone does not have lights. He's not using technique right now. So he only has five feet of vision. There you go, thing one. That is gonna end my turn though. All right, so next up is Silas. F and miss. I'm going to take out my sword, and I'm going to hit this guy uh, with it. All right, roll that hit check. I can't remember what it is right off the top of my head. Uh... Oh, yeah, okay. That's it? Where the heck is Silas at? And you anybody? slice him up. Cleave. And roll again. And you hit. And you slice him up. Okay. Now I'm going to move right here. Yep. And cleave Just again and hit this cleave, dude. Cleave. All right. And you hit. Very sorry. And you make the hit. Uh, that's a hit. Barely. <laughs> yep. Barely, but a hit. <laughs> You're very closer than that. Oh, my gosh. And oh. he remains up. That was going to be OP. And next up is uh, the NPCs. Whatever hatch it is. This guy's going to step forward. This guy right. who has been de syrupified. He's going to step forward. And each one of them is going to point their hands at either of you and target you. What the? That one targeting Richard. That one targeting Takshi. We'll bring it, dude. Get some. That's a miss or a hit? Two is that against me? 28 is my deeds. To Takshi. That's a miss. Oh. All right. And that's a miss on you, Richard. And now the big guy's going to go, all right. 
And he's going to use another wave attack. <laughs> so everyone who was within 30 feet of that projection needs to make Ooh. a reflex save. I don't even know where this nerd is at. Oh, wait, I think I actually might have evasion since I took up Ninja Hunter. Well, that's the question is, do you? Because I don't remember with that character. You know what? Up. I'm going to just YOLO it. He's a wood lacking wall. Okay, this okay. Is gonna, I think this is probably going to be the last turn for us. Then I have to go. Dang. Aye, aye. This is my perform check. I'm glad that you brought Hero in because we'll probably see him on Monday. It makes sense. All right. Lucky and, to see. Yep, you succeed on blocking it. Yeah, it's weak. I didn't know that was the technique of block. I was just yellowing it. <laughs> yeah. And so you block it from your side, but not from the other side. Right. <laughs> Zero six. What the? <laughs> are you using a macro? Or are you yeah, just... What the hell just happened? They're all zero successes. That one's a one success. Huh. So I rolled 10 d20s, and that tells you how many of them were 10s, because tens, of the equals yeah. 10. That makes sense. Uh, so you pass, because your save would have been a 13. So you take half damage of 29, so you take 15 damage. Oh, no, you said you have evasion, or do you? I do not. Okay, so you take 15 damage. I'll subtract that for you. That's kind of cool. And, Richard, it is your last turn. Okay, with my last turn, I'm going to use Yado oh. on this guy. Did I get skipped? Okay. No, that was the NPC that just went. Oh. Oh. Talk, she did his thing as a reaction to block. Oh, okay. Should I smack him? You smack him. All right, hold up. I got to look up the other's damage. Oh, the guy who was right there, by the way, Talk, she, he died from the uh, wave attack. Rip. He killed his own men. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he did. He was sitting on a pile of nerds, so yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess it's not too far wrong. This guy, he's like, sometimes I have them kill themselves for, like, the sake of time. This is a guy who it makes sense for. <laughs> I, I, I'm not surprised. Some of the non I have no idea how to roll this damage. 1d6 plus your strength modifier. Plus any bonuses from Yato. It should be plus two plus. I thought it was. Yeah, I think it's one point five. How do you spell the Yato? I a I yo. I D O. That's what I was missing. Yeah, you do. So yeah, plus two to your damage. Plus three, baby. Plus three? Okay. Smack. I'm going to cut you some slack and say that did additional one damage and he's knocked out. GG. Yeah, you see, he falls Wait. unconscious. What's up? <laughs> this is weapon damage. DC. Yep. Are you using a katana? Are you using a katana? A... Yes. I have one. 1d10. All right, then. Uh, okay, I thought you had a... I thought you had a saber. <laughs> I do. I, I, All I right, yeah, now you know what you're talking about. Yeah, All right, so that's your actual hit. <laughs> and that is where we're going to end things today. That was scary. We will see you next time.
ideally with a fourth person. By fourth, I mean fifth, because I wasn't counting myself. Adios. And then we will find out exactly Adios. what else lies in this base, who this character is, and what Owari is planning. Huh? Hey, hey, Connor. Eh? Hey, do, uh, since, um, since uh, Hero's going to be here on Monday, do we get extra experience for, since they weren't here today? Sure, I'll give you 2,000 <laughs> experience right now. 2,000. Awesome. In advance. Yeah, boy. Cool. All right. Hey, guys. We'll see y'all later. Later. Yeah. Thank you to this month's patrons. Your support goes a long way, and we appreciate the love that you show us.